whilst eating the baked treat. We've got a lot of that coming your way tonight. A romantic, yummy, delicious recipe. But we also have three big hours coming your way. And as mentioned, every item on air and online between now and midnight Eastern will be four or more easy pays. That's every single item in every category. The only exception will be gift cards. So definitely get ready to do some great shopping. We also have a one day only priced item coming up in the show, and it's one of my most favorite Southern treats. We're talking, of course, about chicken and dumplings from St. Clair Foods. We're also talking about two of their two pound side dishes. So here you're getting two two pound bags of the chicken and dumplings, which are right here. Here are the chicken and dumplings, you guys. Look at those delightful pillowy dumplings. Or what maybe is called slippery dumplings. Lauren Evans, you want to get here and do the honors, darling? And then along with these delightful dumplings, you get two two-pound side dishes. You get Lauren's four cheese mac and cheese. Right. And also yes. her grandmother's sweet potato Dutch crust casserole. Now, all this coming your way for that one day only price of $59.44, four easy payments, no auto delivery, and this is eight pounds of Southern good food. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to wreck it. I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> I know you are. I'm going to totally get in there and wreck <laughs> it. Hey, you know what else we're going to help you get excited about tonight? Today's special value. Eric Thies is here, and over 20,000 of you have now dialed in for the Power Smokeless Indoor Electric 1500 Watt Grill. It also comes along with a griddle plate. This is an electric, virtually smokeless grill. 80% less smoke than a traditional electric grill. This is also more powerful than the same Power Smokeless Grill that's available on the television offer. That one is 1200 watts, this is 1500. So, even better sear. You're also going to love that it's virtually smokeless. You're going to love that all parts except for the heating element go in the dishwasher for easy cleanup. This has been super popular today. Over 20,000 have already been ordered, and there are four easy payments of $22.49. We've got that and a whole lot more coming up, but let's talk about flourless chocolate and red wine heart cakes. What? Heart shaped flourless cakes with red wine in the cake batter. I'm not even kidding. Well, I have to say, this is a delightful recipe, rather romantic, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, if you want to find this recipe, and you will, because then you want to run out and get all the ingredients so you can make it tomorrow night, this is can be found by searching David's recipes on QVC.com. Now, what we're going to do first is we've taken one of the beaters out of our hand mixer, our KitchenAid electric hand mixer, because we don't want to overmix this process. So that's going to be important. So we took one of the beaters out. We're only going to use one of them. In a bowl, I have five eggs. To keep this bowl from dancing across the tabletop, we're able to moisten a dish towel and park the bowl right there so it stays in place. Little, little a kitchen tip. Add to that some granulated sugar, some vanilla, and a little salt. Now I'll get in with my hand mixer and mix this up, get this all ready to go. Not going to go super high on the speed here because we don't want to overmix it, but we do want to incorporate the eggs and the sugar mixture and the vanilla. Getting all those yolks broken. All right. Break up, kids. Why are you running from me? Why are they running? Okay, come back, come back, come in. Okay, you can't, you can hide. You can't run from me. I'm gonna get you. Yes, I am. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, hang on. Oh, I got them now. Oh, yeah, see there? They thought they were being funny because they're on live TV. That's what they were doing. All right. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to temper the melted chocolate and the red wine mixture into the eggs. Now, you wanna do this slowly. And you also want to make sure that your chocolate is not too hot so that the eggs don't cook. What we're wanting to do here is just temper the eggs, and then this will thicken the batter, and we'll pour this into a springform pan, put it in a water bath, and bake this up oh so nicely. And then we're going to cover it with more chocolate ganache and some red Valentine colors. Gorgeous. Look at that, you guys. Okay, how you doing? I'm tempering, and I'm not even breaking a sweat. Exactly. All right, the eggs gave me a bigger problem. All right, so we're going to uh, finish this up, but you can see our beauty when it's all said and done. Let me shut them off. When it's all said and done, we will cut this out with a heart shaped cake cutter and cover it with more chocolate ganache and little Valentine sprinkles. Isn't that pretty? Search David's recipes on QVC.com and just make sure your eggs aren't ornery like mine were. A little bit ornery. See those eggs running from me, Stacey? I try to do that all the time. Yeah, oh, you try to run from me? <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you better be careful. You might find some eggs. <laughs> I might. All right. Maybe. Hey, David. Yes, love dear. eating out, right? Love. Don't necessarily love the guilt that sometimes comes along nope. with it, right? Well, guess what? Our magician in the kitchen, Marlene Cook, is back to work her kitchen magic on some of the most popular restaurant dishes that you love with her fifth installment of Eat What You Love restaurant favorite. Since we launched this year, 72,000 copies sold. Why? She brings you more than 135 recipes from restaurants all across the country and takes what you love from their menu, makes it easy to do at home with oftentimes a fraction of the calories, a fraction of the sugar, a fraction of the carbs, just like this luscious lemon cream cake that is infamous at Olive Garden. We have it on four easy payments of $5.32. Wait till you see what she has. Everything from Italian restaurants, Asian, Mexican, your fast food places. Again, eating what you love, but feeling a little bit better when you do eat it. Okay, I have a trivia question for everybody. Okay, ready to go, right out of the gate. How many Valentine cards are sent each year? Is it 500 million, 2 billion, 10 billion, or 1 billion? Think about it. Give me your answer in the chat happening on David's Facebook page in the live stream, and we'll announce what the real answer is to the crowd in just a bit. But kicking it off with a brand new item you've never seen before from Mad Hungry, and you've been asking for it. This stuff. Well, we are super excited. You know her and love her from Spurtle fame. Now you're going to know her and love her with the lip and loop. Lucinda Scalas Quinn is back with us. It's great to see you, darling. Big night tonight. It is a big night. This is worldwide launch of something brand new. Well, you know what? You know Lucinda and love her because she takes older items and repurposes them and makes them relevant yet again. And you know, sometimes it's just fun when you're traveling and you see something amazing, you go, oh, let's bring that back. And that's what I've done with this two piece set here. Well, this is called the lip and loop. And there's a little loop on the end of this, uh, of this stoneware piece. There's then a pouring spout on the other side. So both sides are utilitarian. They're going to serve purposes in your kitchen, but these are also stoneware vessels. So you can bake in this, you can mix in this. You're going to be able to uh, put this in the refrigerator, the freezer, whatever the case may be. Look at the gorgeous patterns here. But all of this was modeled after a piece you bought it 10 was. years ago. That dates back how long? 1860. This show piece, everyone the original piece. Okay, this is the original piece. I walked into an antique shop in Belgium, and this was hanging on an old kitchen hutch. And I thought this is fantastic. It looked beautiful, but I thought, wow, a loop to hang and a pouring spout. And I really just took it home because I thought I was going to use it. It's so old that it's warped, actually. Right. So I brought it home. I was too scared to use it. Ten years goes by. I have Mad Hungry. You may know us from the Spurtle, which is another right. old tool that we brought and updated to our foodies here. And here we go. We made a two-piece lip and loop casserole set. This is one and a half quarts, David. Okay. Okay. And this is three quarts. So and you get them both. You get them both. And so basically, anything you can do in an eight by eight pan, you can do in here. Anything you can do in a nine by thirteen, you do here. We have gorgeous so colors. So this is the equivalent of a nine by thirteen in it, terms of capacity. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Now and, we have colors, and you'll, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to sneak around the front here and show you that we have six colors to yes. choose from. Now closest to me, this one is the one we're calling turquoise. Is that right? That's right. And then beside the turquoise, I've got it for you in gray, already popular in the gray for, for folks that have maybe, oh, I don't know, stainless steel appliances. Yep. Then look at this gorgeous blue, but that's not just any blue. That is a very special blue. It's kind of Caribbean, kind of ocean. It gorgeous. just makes you happy. And then of course, very popular and no surprise, red. Our foodie color is red and everyone's loving the red. Beside that is honk honk. Taxi cab yellow. That's I a have hot only color. 500 in the yellow to go around. And then finally, I have it for you in the orange. Now, 500 orange. The, already 100 of these are gone. The smaller vessel is one and a half quarts. Yes. And the larger one is three, three quarts, which is uh, equivalent to a nine, nine by 13. Nine by 13. Baker. And okay. of course, you can prep. So when it comes to this piece, I also just have to show right here very quickly. I am in mad for mid century modern design. And if you get close here, you can see the repeated pattern is both on the outside, but it's also on the inside. 
it's hard to see right here on the inside. I'm going to show you this piece. I'm just going yep. to bring this piece over and sure. show everybody the inside pattern, which is embossed. And it's very clean, very modern, sort of sophisticated, but it also means that it, it fits nicely with any pattern you already might have. If you've collected, you know, your grandmother's china or you have some other stoneware that you love, add a pop of color that matches and you can mix and match. But one of the things I love, my right. darling, is when I made the salmon, the first thing that I did is I mixed the marinade in here. And when you have this loop here, you can lift it up, you can take your whisk or whatever and whisk, then you can bake, and then you can take it to the table like this. And if it's hot, I love this little loop business right here because what I always do when I have a hot pan, no matter what it is, I put a towel around it so nobody burns themselves. But look how beautiful that looks. 200 of these are now gone. Need to remind you everything in our show on air and online until Midnight tonight is four pay or better. This is four easy payments of eight dollars and nineteen cents. You get the one and a half and the three quart loop and or lip, lip, and, lip loop. and loop. Lip and loop. Mad hungry lip and loop. This also is a beautiful serving vessel because of course you can chill in it. I made this baked pasta. Big ZD. I, I froze it. And then I baked it in the oven, and look how beautiful it is, and it's going straight into the um, to the table. Now you know what they call this frittata. Hakuna frittata. Hakuna frittata. It means eggs with no worry. And that yeah, is does. hilarious. But yeah. you know what? You don't have to worry because nothing's going to stick because look, it is naturally long stick and look, non stick. Look how beautiful that is when you pull it out. It wasn't a great joke, but it was the one I had. I liked yeah, it. it. Hey, I can liked I tell it. you, 300 of these are now gone. I want to go through colors with you again, reminding you this is turquoise. From turquoise, we move into gray. Gray, very popular. I have 900 now left in the gray. This is the blue, that gorgeous Caribbean blue, that ocean blue. I'm, I'm in love with it. Then we've got it for you in red, already very popular. If you want the yellow, I have 450 now to go around. Beside the yellow is the orange. 450 in the orange as well. Bring a pop of color into your kitchen. Yes, it's just bring a pop in. But aside from that, what I love and what all of Mad Hungry Things do is they're multi use. So, how many times do you bring a beautiful chicken out of the oven and then you want to pour off that juice because you either want to make gravy or skim the fat? Or skim the fat. And the problem is that you have no pouring spout. That pouring spout comes in handy so often. Here, David, I, 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 I mixed. I baked and I will serve. I made this the other day. You might have That's seen it. That's your perfect on chocolate cake. Perfect on your chocolate Insta cake. Stories. I baked the whole thing right in here, and you can see how non-stick it is. Oh, I watched you the whole thing on your Insta story. And you can actually now still see it. Of course, there's macaroni and cheese I just brought from the oven, and oh. because I have this beautiful little. Um, the lip here and the loop here, it's like a handle, only they're both functional. And that's oh, the perfect. beauty. Same here with the meatloaf. I mean, everything you cook for dinner or that you have for dessert, you can serve in the Mad Hungry Lip and Loop. Right down to a cold fruit salad, because remember, stoneware will keep hot, hot, and cold, cold. That's right. This is very popular. If you're looking for the uh, Mad Hungry three piece Pockawood Spurtle set, that is also available. You'll see it on your screen, 1998. That's also on 4Pay because everything tonight is on 4Pay on air and online. But there is also a companion piece. Oh, people are going crazy for this that whole That I line. know that everyone's been asking about, and Stacy's about to give you a sneak peek of. It's it's been months now. Our foodies in the chat have been asking when is Lucinda going to bring her beautiful bowls we've seen on her set. Well, guess what? Here they are. It's a set of two. They're one and a half quart bowls. Same color choices as you just saw in the casserole dishes. You get two. They do stack. They have that same little helper handle. And it comes with a storage lid. Right there on your screen is your item number K48024. Right now, the two pieces on four easy payments of $6.50. Okay, we're chatting on David's Facebook page in the live stream of the show. Great place to ask questions. But also, when you're on David's Facebook page, before you hit the live stream in the chat, check out our foodie photo. A big congratulations to Deanna L., your homemade broccoli cheddar soup. Looks so good. Perfect for these cold days. And I love that you did it in a bread bowl. All right. If you want to see your creation live here on TV, just post a photo of it on David's Facebook page. Now, our trivia question a lot of you were giving guesses in the chat. How many Valentine cards are sent each year? Well, what do you know? It is one billion. The Greeting Card Association estimates that approximately one billion Valentine cards are sent worldwide each year making Valentine's Day the second largest card sending holiday of the year behind Christmas. Pretty cool. I almost would have went with 10 billion, but 1, 1 billion still impressive, David. I'm uh, you still got time to get mine to me, Stace. I'm working on it. Work, working on it. Working on it. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm going to be sitting by the mailbox tomorrow, Stacy.
waiting, crying. All right, we're back with another exciting item in our show tonight, a one-day-only price. Now, what does that mean? That means this price on these chicken and dumplings and side dishes will only be good until end of day today or until the item sells out, whichever happens first. You need to know you're getting two two-pound bags of some of the world's finest chicken and dumplings. Understand there's no G on that word. And you also get two... Side dishes, each one two pounds. This is Lauren Edmonds. She's been our St. Clair's representative for how long now? Almost 15 years. 15 years. It's a family business, it your is. family's My business. My family. Great to have you back. Thank you. You brought three of my most favorites. Yes. The chicken and dumplings that I have loved since I was a little boy. These are what some people call the slippery dumplings. Right. I call them roll dumplings. I call them little pillows of heaven. <laughs> and what you are going to have is this pillowy, soft, tender dumpling mm -hmm. simmering in this thick, Delicious chicken gravy that is then completely surrounded by chunks of white and dark meat chicken. And that's just where this offer begins. You're getting two two pound bags of that, mm -hmm. and then you're getting two pounds of your famous mac and cheese, Macaroni some of the best cheese. I've ever eaten, and two pounds of your grandma's. Sweet potato Dutch right. crust casserole. Grandmother Ruth, sweet potato du Dutch crust, sweet potato casserole. That's right. Mm. I don't know where we're going to start, David, because I know these are three of your favorites. Well, you know what? You can't go wrong. But let's begin with the chicken and dumplings okay. only because I think that's the star of the show. I think so too. But I need to let you know I have 2,800 sets to go around and no auto delivery on this. This price, my friends, will go away at end of day today. Is it cold at your house tonight? Mm hmm. Is it been snowing and sleeting and icing and raining? And is it just. Bitter, awful outside. Well, no matter what old man winter can dish up, it cannot compare to what St. Clair dishes up in your kitchen. You go to your stove and you get, bring a pot to of simmering water to a, a, so a slight simmer, a low boil. You take this frozen bag of chicken and dumplings and you pop it in the water. How long does it take to soften up in that water? Only about 15 or 20 minutes. And then while that's happening, you make yourself, I don't know, a can of biscuit mm -hmm. or you make yourself a, a green salad or a glass of iced Absolutely. tea, right? Absolutely. And then you begin eating. First time Lauren ever brought these to GVC and I tasted them, suddenly I was seven years old again in my grandma and Mimi's kitchen. Yes. I was tugging at her apron strings asking her how long it would be before dumplings were ready. Mm -hmm. These are amazing. They warm you right down to your toes. They really do. And you know how hard it is to make dumplings, or chicken and dumplings. I've seen your Instagram stories and watch you make them and this this is on, second only to homemade chicken and dumplings but it sure is a great substitute when it's done in 15 minutes you better know it i'm gonna need you to hold this because i'm gonna bust out back it up a little bit uh oh the first happy dance of the night there it is come on get All it right get it get it get it i only have a 2500 of these left to go around wow so i'll take that off your hands okay and add, to go along with these chicken and dumplings we have your Macaroni and cheese. This is a right. four cheese mac and cheese. This right? has sharp cheddar, Asiago, mozzarella, Monterey Jack cheese. Look at all the cheese we put on top of this casserole. It gets nice and toasty, golden brown in the oven. And then we have real cream, real butter. Look how ooey gooey and delicious this is. Mm. And this mac and cheese is truly a favorite at QVC. And so is the sweet potato that I'm about to serve to you. But it is absolutely decadent and delicious. So this is a four cheese mac and cheese. Two pounds in your little uh, tin. It'll come just mm -hmm. like this. Your cooking instructions will be on the top. You'll take this little cardboard piece off the top. You'll put this on a baking sheet and pop it right into the oven. Cook right. it from frozen. Or you can thaw it out. Either way you want to go. If you go thaw it, it'll just it'll just, just take a little less time. It'll, it'll cook faster. Yeah. And your sweet potato Dutch crust casserole will come in a same, in a similar container. Right. Now, to that, we're going to add your Grandma Roos recipe. Yes, this is her Dutch crust sweet potato casserole. This is always, we always start with fresh sweet potatoes. And when you look at the color of these sweet potatoes, that oh. is not a canned sweet potato. No, it is not. It is fresh. We cook them at St. Clair. We mash them with butter. And of course, look at this topping brown sugar, pecan, and walnut. You can actually That's the Dutch see. Crust. Yes, it is. The Dutch crust. You can see the little pieces of pecans and walnuts in there along with that brown sugar. Not to mention the butter. Yeah, it's so creamy, <laughs> so buttery, sugary. This could be really served as a, as a dessert with ice cream. But I mean, these two sides along with chicken and dumplings, I mean, you're talking about comfort food overload. Absolutely. I love and it. when you need to get a dinner on the table in a hurry mm -hmm. and you have not had a chance to go to the market, dinner is in the freezer. And that's the best part. Exactly. Now, I have eaten my weight in mac and cheese in my life, I'm sure, and probably a few times over. This is some of the best mac and cheese I've ever eaten. It really it is. It is really, really marvelous. It is so good. And you know, you're talking about shortcuts later, or earlier, excuse me. 
This is the ultimate shortcut because you don't have to do anything. You can just preheat your oven 375 degrees, bake them for about an hour in the containers they come in, or you can put them in your own container like we have here, baking dish. Here it's comes about the Dutch a five crust. by eight. Uh huh. So delicious, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Isn't that great? <laughs> The best ever. All the things you love, all the great, great dishes are now living in your freezer. I, we now have fewer than 2,100 to go around. Oh, wow. There is no auto delivery on this. You're getting two two pound bags mm -hmm. of the chicken and dumplings, two pounds of the four cheese mac and cheese, and two pounds of that sweet potato right. Dutch crust casserole. That's eight pounds of food. That's a ton of food in it's your freezer. Eight pounds of food. Yeah, and just think about you know, you could, there's no way that you could make all of this in one night and not be in your kitchen for hours and mm. hours. And right. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these chicken and dumplings. I told you about the pans, they bake for an hour in the oven. These are super easy, even less time. So I've got a pot of simmering water right here. And we have one ready that we're going to cut open in just a moment. And this is the bag they come in. Right, this is so the bag that come in. So you put it right down into the simmering water. Exactly, right down in the water. Just like this. 15, 20 minutes. You know, it's got, it'll melt down into the water. And then you're done and you have got fresh, hot, bubbly. If I can open the bag. Exactly. That bag is nice and Here durable by design because it has, it's designed to go in the hot water. And you're set. You've got dinner on the table in less than 30 minutes. And the time that took you to boil water and 15 or 20 minutes to I mean, boil I this. usually wait until a snow day to make my chicken mm -hmm. and dumplings because it takes it hours takes and forever. hours for me to do that. This is something that is so lovely and so quick and easy. And now you've got dinner on the table. I do want to remind you of what a one day only price is. That means it's only available in, in the day in which it's presented mm -hmm. or until it sells out, whichever comes first. So what that means is this price only good until end of day today. Or until the item sells out, whichever comes first, and there is no auto delivery. So you're getting two of these gorgeous two pound bags of chicken and dumplings, two pound container of four cheese mac and cheese, and a two pound container of this sweet potato casserole. I now have 1,800 of these left to go around. Wow. It will not be this price again for a minimum of six months. We can't repeat this price for a minimum of six months. So this is your opportunity now to have eight pounds of food at the ready in your freezer. How long will this last in the freezer? These will last a year in your freezer if they're kept Perfect. frozen. So super easy to keep in your freezer. The nights that you don't want to go to the grocery store, the nights that you just really need that comfort food and you don't want to cook. I mean, I have so many nights, especially uh -huh. this time of year when I just am tired and it's cold outside and I just want something warm and comforting and hearty mm. and this is it. This mm. is what the definition of comfort food is. This plate right here. You got our mac and cheese with sharp cheddar, Asiago, mozzarella, Monterey Jack. Look at all that beautiful crust on top. And then right next to that, we've got my grandmother's recipe, Dutch crust sweet potato casserole, which, oh, by no the way, way, is such a customer favorite. Especially, it's like dessert. it is. It's like dessert during the holidays. This is probably our number one um, seller on QVC.com by itself, and mm -hmm. we just, we can't even keep it in stock. And then, of course, last but not right least, off the fork. See we, that? <laughs> we've got our chicken and dumplings made with um, all the all the meat of the chicken, the white meat, the dark meat gives it that much flavor. These dumplings so are so many rolled. tender chunks of chicken in mm -hmm. there. That savory, rich, thick Look at that gravy. Broth. Those pillowy dumplings that melt in your mouth. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of comfort food that warms you all the way to your toes. We're now half gone. When you walk in the door and it's so cold outside that old man winter mm -hmm. has bitten your cheeks, right? Yes. They're red. It hurts to touch your face. It's so Absolutely. cold. And you walk in the kitchen and something bubbling on the stove. And then the aroma overtakes you. And then you sit down. This is the kind of food I like to say makes your shoulders relax. Yes. It's the kind of food that you would make if you had the time or the know how. Most of us have very little time these days. We might have the know how, we just don't have the time. Let St. Clair take the time part out of the equation and deliver classic Southern comfort food. Exactly. This is what it's all about. I, I used to say I cut my teeth on this kind of food when I was a little boy. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of thing you're going to love, and these are going quickly. Four easy payments, and now only 1,300 to go around. Wow. That's well over half of our quantity, and Thank you should also you. be aware that there is no auto delivery on this. And this price only good until end of day today or until these sell out, and they're now well over half gone. Wow. You should also know that we will not be able to repeat this price for a minimum of six months. We might offer other chicken and dumplings from St. Clair, but coupled with these side dishes, mm -hmm. we won't be able to do this price again for six months. If any of these are left, we'll be glad to place an order for you tomorrow. But we'll have to place it at the normal QVC price of 72 bucks. Right. Oh, wow. Why not go ahead and get it tonight for 59 This is amazing. This is eight pounds of food, my friends. So now all of it's in your freezer waiting for you to preheat the oven, 
or fire up the stove and get a little pot of simmering water going. Exactly. It is that wonderful. I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, without any reservation, I have loved St. Clair Foods for all these years you've been on QVC. I have served it to my own friends and family. This is the kind of thing that you're going to love having on hand, but more importantly, love feeding your family and friends. Mm -hmm. We started with 3,000 sets. I have fewer than a thousand sets remaining. Oh my goodness. These are going Thank very, very quickly. So Please don't wait on these because they're just perfect. I've got to get another bite of the mac and cheese. Who am I kidding? A big bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and I love this combination together because these really are, to me, the most popular of the comfort type foods. The chicken and dumplings, the mac and cheese, the sweet potato capture casserole. Like you said, this is what you grow up on. This is what you think about when your food memories take mm. take over. My sweet girl. Started with over 3,000. Mm -hmm. We have fewer than 800. Wow. QVC.com and mobile apps are going to be the way to get in right now. Don't dare hang up. Get yours while you can because mm -hmm. there is no advanced order on these. Or excuse me, no auto delivery, I should say. Mm -hmm. So get yours mm -hmm. while you can. Stacy is going to be talking about a going green smoothie, and I'm just going to shovel in some more chicken and dumplings. Me too. Mm. David, I'm getting my dose of veggies today uh, with something that has really helped me get veggies into my children more. It is Vitamix and what a screaming good deal we have for you tonight because this is the Pro Series. This is the real deal. 64 ounce container, the one that fits under cabinets, but not just the main container. You're also getting the dry container along with two cookbooks. And this is about everything from making honey roasted peanut butter to smoothies to hot soup to bread, grinding meat. It can do it all. Here's the thing. What we're giving you tonight should be $771. We, my friends, are $331 less. If you ever wanted the best of the best from Vitamix, we've got it tonight at an exceptional value. So we'll have Jan with his demonstrations that are awesome coming up in just a bit. But right now, Cookbook Corner. Love it. Well, everyone has that favorite restaurant they love to go to, and everyone has that favorite dish at that favorite restaurant. But what if you could take that same recipe and deliver it with fewer fat, calories, and sugar, but with all the flavor, and in some cases, even more flavor? This is the fifth in the installment of Eat What You Love by our friend and magician in the kitchen, Marlene Cook. This is called Eat What You Love Restaurant Favorites Cookbook. We have sold over 72,000 copies of this Amazing. book. I have 23,000 left, and these are all shipping out on April the 3rd. This is an advanced order price. Wow. This is Marlene Cook, the magician in the kitchen. Hey. Welcome back, you. Thank you. Nice to see you. This is so exciting because yes. what we've come to know and love about your books Thank you. is that you deliver recipes that are super high in flavor, right. but super low in fat, sugar, and calories because okay. you are a nutritionist. Right. You're a home cooking instructor. Exactly. You're a mom of how many? I have two boys and I have a stepdaughter with diabetes, but I come from a family of nine with five brothers and they love to eat and they don't want to compromise on flavor. <laughs> well, you didn't at all. What you did, though, get rid of is all that fat, sugar, and calories that we didn't need, right? Right. So, what I want people to know a lot of people I know we've been on the show before know those points are in the book and they're brand new. The diabetes exchanges are in the book. There's nutrition information in the beginning, there's menus in the back, there's a way to get a hold of me, there's gluten free pages. So it's really food that you can feed everyone no matter what your health goals are or if you just want great food and to save so much money. I did the math. You save 75% of the cost of going out. Wow. It's amazing. And you're also going to uh, drastically reduce the amount of fat, sugar, and calories you're consuming, yeah. right? Yeah. And so now, we're going to do These are red velvet cupcakes? Tomorrow's Valentine's Day, so I had to bring you some. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm still waiting on Stacy's Valentine card. I'm not sure I must have lost in the mail. All right, this so this is mine. So go ahead. Okay, I, okay. I think you know the proof is mm. in the taste, always, <laughs> especially that frosting. Mmm, frosting is mile high. Yeah, and it's cheesecake frosting. So mm. as I came in the airport, I walked through Aubon Pond. Mm -hmm. It's a bakery. Right. Exact same size. I thought they'd be huge. No, 420 calories for the cupcake. Okay and the carbs of four pieces of bread. We now have carbs of only a single slice of bread for that. What? So if you're counting carbs or you're worried about sugar, there's only two teaspoons in it. It's an all natural mix. Mm -hmm. You get to have the cupcake. And if you were counting points before it was 18 and now it's four. Oh wow. I mean, huge savings when you talk restaurant, and that's what people loved that I did right. because I was able to really mix and match and get the now, flavor in 300 there. 300 books are already gone. Add to that the 72,000 already pre ordered. 
This book is extraordinary. This woman is extraordinary. Oh, thank you. You're going to love her books. I wrote the quote on the back of the book. I'm that uh, I'm that plugged into the series. And you know, every recipe I test it over and over. And if people go, you know, it's good because I know it's diet. No, 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 no. It has to be like slam damn. I want to eat this every night. Good. Okay. And then we want it in the is book. Is that what this is? So this is my chicken broccoli Alfredo. Got it. So I've actually re-ramped this. So what you're going to find is 110 new recipes, but about 30 recipes that were like the super all-star favorites that right. I brought back. Mm -hmm. But what I did is I reworked this mm. a little, more flavor. <laughs> I made it for four. Mm. Oh, it's fantastic, Pearlene. Okay, so first of all, when you go out to eat that, if you can believe this at the Olive Garden, theirs has 1,600 calories on a plate. 1,600 and 100 grams of fat. And yours? You don't even want to look at that. We're under 350 oh, calories. Wow. I have 27 grams of protein. I do not do really small portions, and I do not cut back on the protein and the things you want. I cut back on the things you don't need. Now, let me show you gorgeous photography in this book, Marlene. Really beautiful recipes. You're also going to love nutritional information is all there. Diabetes exchange, the diabetic exchanges, exchanges are, there. are there. If you follow that uh, that famous diet with the points, then the points are all there as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Everything you need to know is inside. All the great recipes. Speedy smothered chicken burritos. Hello. Unbelievable. Look at those gorgeous tequitos. There are air frying recipes in the book. There yep. are southern favorites. There are desserts, appetizers, main dishes. Everything that you're looking for, right down to the sausage and egg breakfast burrito. Right. All of it inside. Eat what you love restaurant favorites. We brought in 95,000 books. Wow. I have 22,500 remaining. So there's everything from fast food to fine dining. Gotcha. My stepdaughter has diabetes, so I know how hard it is to fit these things in her plan. This tiramisu, first of all, it serves six, okay? So we aren't talking little portions. And if you go out, the average is going to be 600 calories for a small portion, up to 1,000 for a large portion. Yeah. But this tiramisu I made for New Year's Eve for people, and I had a lot of people say, nope, sorry, I'm full. Then they saw that it was a healthy recipe, and then they couldn't believe it. Mm. Okay? It's, oh, Marlene. This is crazy. It, yeah. I have people say it's better than some of the restaurants they go. A thousand calories at an Italian restaurant. What is yours for A hundred and sixty and nine carbs. So a half of slice of bread is all you have to give up to have dessert with tiramisu. Well, I think that calls for a little happy dance. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, my word. Marlene, this is amazing. Yeah. Really, really good. Mm, yeah, perfect. it's like the real thing because that's really. what we want to eat. Okay, what's next? So why don't we have a little bit of Asian food? Because I know you love the Asian dishes. And I have orange chicken in the book. I have Mongolian beef in the book. I have pork fried rice in the book. But this time I brought, it's pork, sweet and sour pork for two. Oh, nice. So every chapter has entrees for two mm -hmm. and most serve four. So for my husband and I, I cook it. We have it that night. I get the leftovers for lunch and it's gone. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's this good. Oh my gosh, Marley, it's so amazing. But if you if you buy this in the store, it's loaded okay. with salt and, right. and sugar, right? So the Asian recipes on average are 75% less sodium, because normally that's 3,000, mm. and now we have 75% less, and they're 90% less sugar. But they have all of the same protein. Mm. So your belly filling full, and who would think that sweet and power pork can be good for you? This has fruits, vegetables. It doesn't have the bad stuff. This is P.F. Chang style. Uh, lettuce wraps. Lettuce wraps. So what I did with the lettuce wraps is I went through and I looked at other recipes, and they just took too many ingredients, David. So this only uses a handful of ingredients, and what you do is I'm you mix it all at once. You got the filling back there. 50 calories a wrap, all of the same taste, mm. and it's made in 20 minutes. So my boys are 24, 25 years old. They go out to restaurants. When they come home, the food is the same, but we're saving all that sugar, fat, and calories. I love to give this example. This is a steakhouse meal. Maybe you're going to go tomorrow night. First of all, you know you're going to pay over $100. Well, depending on where most, you go. Yeah. Most steakhouses. So what do you have here? First of all, I have the steak. We have the creamy potatoes. I have this delicious, creamy um, steakhouse spinach. Mm. You're going to save over a thousand calories on your plate, and again, 75% of the cost. So I think you really enjoyed this Longhorn Steakhouse. I did. This was a chicken dish that you made. It's a chicken, and it's Longhorn Steakhouse. So it has a creamy sauce. Right. It has cheese. It has crispy, Ooh. and it is half the normal calories. Mm. 
Oh, I love this dish. It's so good. I think my mother orders this when she goes to Longhorn. And, and it, it takes 15 minutes to make it. Mm. So the whole family can have it. Do so, you want it? Well, let's look at the air fryer over there. Real quickly I'm as we wrap up. People as we wrap up. There are some air flying recipes inside the taquitos you, you did taquitos, here. You have you have Mexican food. Also today, a lot of people picked up the grill. So I have chili style fajitas in there. Right. And I have the nachos and I have the carnitas. So good. And I have the dessert. We started with 95,000 books. Wow. I have 20,500 left. That means 3,000 more gone in this show. Crazy. This ships out on the 3rd of April. Just buy this book. You will love this book. Thank I you. trust this book. I trust this lady. Oh, thank nice to you. have you back, my darling. Good to see you. Good now, to see before you. we, uh, I think we're going to go to a break, yes? But first, we're going to ask everybody a trivia question so I don't put you on the spot. <laughs> All right, so what U.S. state produces the most roses for Valentine's Day? Huh. Is it Texas? Ohio, California, don't they have a tournament of roses parade out there? And Florida, what could be the answer? Stick around on the other side of this break, you will find out. And I believe our today's special value is coming up soon, but next is Vitamix. So stick around and stay on the line for Marlene's fantastic book. Thank you, my darling. Get date night ready with the printed sheer chiffon tunic by Susan Graver. Find your perfect color starting at midnight Eastern on QVC. Listen, cooking can be fun and easy, and it certainly doesn't have to take a lot of time to get a good meal on the table, especially when you've got the basics down. From the recipe to the table and all the prep work in between, it's step-by-step -step cooking with Stacy Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern on QVC2. Get a simple solution to help transform your look with Tweaked by Nature. Check it out starting Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern on QVC and throughout the day on QVC2 and Beauty IQ. Join David for Down Home with David every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So what U.S. state produces the most roses sold for Valentine's Day? Is it Texas, Ohio, California, or Florida? They have a tournament of roses parade in California. Is that right? Are you taking a, a oh, Jan thought it was Texas. You live in California there, sunshine. All right, the state of California produced 60% of American roses, but most roses sold on Valentine's Day in the U.S. are actually imported from South America. Who knew? Must be a lot of refrigerated trucks or airplanes bringing those over. All right, hey, let's get busy with a hot pick, and a hot pick is one of our star products of every day on QVC. And we've got a fantastic, screaming good deal, although I'm not going to scream at you, on Vitamix. And this is an extraordinary buy and done in this gorgeous, true teal color that I think you're going to be super excited about. Yes, you're getting this big 64-ounce container. You're getting the dry container, which is always a separate purchase. You're getting two cookbooks, one for the dry container, one designed for the Vitamix, and then a tamper for the dry container and for the regular Vitamix. Now, since we launched this at Wild Supply Slash Pricing, 450 of these already gone. If you went to retail to buy this same pack up, you'd be paying over $771. That's right, over seven bills, okay? We are over $311 less. And then when you add in the free shipping and handling, we're $331 less. We've also got it on six easy payments, but if you have that Q card, we're going to help you out with special financing, and this special financing is good for 12 months. What we're going to do is we'll approve the full purchase price on the Q card, give you 12 months to pay it off. You do two things for me. Make all your monthly minimum payments on time, pay off the entire amount within 12 months. You are charged zero interest. So this is the Vitamix you've been waiting for. This is the Vitamix that will actually produce hot steaming soup. And I mean piping hot. And there is no heater in this Vitamix. That is friction. 
friction of this very powerful motor, the blades with this very powerful motor, that will allow you to bring that to a perfect restaurant soup temperature. Exactly. Hi, David. How are hey, you? Hey, Jan Muller. Good to have you back. Good to see How you. How many years for Vitamix for you now? Uh, this is the ninth anniversary, and 950,000 machines have been sold to Unbelievable. Yeah. You've been with QVC, I don't know, since uh, uh, the building 91. Was, was built. Yeah. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Very close. But you know what? This mm. is an extraordinary machine and one that is going to be so much more than just a blender. Exactly. This is going to replace so many things in your kitchen. What are you going to do first? Well, I'm going to show you how I just made that steaming hot soup. It's simple to do when you have a Vitamix. If you're in the mood for soup, you don't want to open a can or you don't have soup, but you want homemade soup, take anything that you've got in the refrigerator, the freezer, or the pantry, put it in the Vitamix, put it on the hot soup cycle because it's got five pre-programmed settings. This is our top of the line professional series. We don't offer a Vitamix with more features than this one anywhere on QVC. So to make these soup, I've got a can of tomatoes, okay. a, a half a cup of cream, and onions. Three ingredients to make this tomato soup, and then I'll let so you taste great. it when we're done. Oh, I come I back wait. here, I put it right on my hot soup cycle, turn the machine on, it starts. It's going to shut it off as soon as it's ready to eat. Which is fantastic. So you're going to make your own soups. You're going to make your own nut butters. You're going to make just a, about everything because you're not again in the regular container. You're getting the dry container. Exactly. Two containers. The wet ingredient container, the dry ingredient container. And with these two containers, you can do 16 different processes. We place 16 different machines in your kitchen. Take a look. First, of course, it's a whole food juicer for your smoothies. Then it becomes a blender for milkshakes, a food processor, a stick blender, a hand mixer. Then an ice cream maker, ice crusher for frozen cocktails, a meat grinder, a chopper, cheese grater, a peanut butter maker, a hot fondue maker, hot soup and sauce maker. And because we're including the dry ingredient container, you have a coffee grinder, a grain mill, and a dough kneader just with two containers and one motor. And this is the professional 750 series from Vitamix. It is a commercial grade 12 amp 2.2 peak horsepower motor that goes with a variable speed like our regular Vitamixes, so you can change the speeds that you like, but it also has the five pre-programmed settings, one for smoothies, one for your frozen cocktails and ice creams, one for doing your soups, one for doing peanut butter and purees, and one for wash and clean cycles. So all I have to do is just put it on smoothie and start it, and the machine takes over. It'll pull everything down into the bottom of the bowl. It'll liquefy it and turn it into a perfect smoothie. That's three pounds of solid food. That's amazing. But in about a minute, it'll be a restaurant quality smoothie. And it'll be liquefied, right? Exactly. So besides doing the ice creams and everything else that you can do in that wet ingredient container, you can also use the dry ingredient container to grind any hard grain, seed, or bean grown into flour. That's whole wheat that I have in there. Turn the machine on. I'm going to use the variable speed so I can control the speed. Now take a look up in the mirror. And you can see how it's pushing the grain up the sides and dropping it down in. It actually is grinding it into flour. You can't do this in an ordinary blender. You'd burn it out. It's amazing. Then all I have to do is add the wet ingredients. And now you're going to get a special recipe book with this that has 57 recipes. And by the way, both cookbooks together have 173 recipes. So you just add in the wet ingredients, which is some water, some honey, yeast, salt, uh, turn the machine on, and just tap it on and off using the pulse button, and knead the bread dough in the same container that you ground the, the wheat. wheat in. That's unbelievable. This is such an amazing buy tonight. And as a while supplies last, which means we're able to deliver this to you with the free shipping. Jan at over $331 less than retail. Yes, exactly. And we do not have a lot of these to go around, and it's done in this beautiful newer color called True Teal. Yeah, true Teal. Okay, so our drink is done. How fast was that? Uh, a minute. And it just and it turns itself off automatically. Love it. So I started with five cups of raw spinach. Yeah. Then I added pineapple, banana, grapes, and a little bit of water. And that was to sweeten it. So I used fresh fruit to sweeten it. It smells sweet from here. Yeah, exactly. Now, we've been doing this, as I said, for nine years. It's our ninth anniversary. I have yet to have anything come out of here except a complete smooth smoothie. You look in the bottom of that bowl, there's no lumps, there's no chunks, there's no bits, there's no pieces, there's no um, pieces of the spinach stem, no pieces of the pineapple, no skins from the grapes. Completely, totally liquefied. But, of course, it's got to taste good or you won't make it every day. Right, okay, nor will so you drink it, right? So this is going to be, you're going to be my taste tester. I love it. One more time. Here we go. Mm. 
It's smooth like silk. Mm -hmm. There's not a lump, bump, chunk, nothing. <laughs> and you would never be able to tell me there's all those vegetables in here. All I taste is sweet fruit. And that's amazing. Your kids will love this. And they're drinking incredibly good things for them. Yes, because it's just whole food. There's nothing added mm. except whole food. No, no artificial sweeteners, no that's sugar, good. no nothing. And so that's good. why over 100,000 restaurants buy Vitamix blenders to put in their establishments. People like Dairy Queen and Tropical Smoothie Cafe, the Orange Julius Company, the Smoothie King, the world's largest coffee shop chain that has those 30,000 coffee shops throughout the world. Right. They buy Vitamix blenders to make their frappuccinos. The Outback Steakhouse restaurant, they buy Vitamix blenders to make their killer margaritas. Sure. So why did they buy all those other machines out there that say they're better than the Vitamix or as good as the Vitamix? Mm. Well, they do tests. Right. Okay. One of the tests they do is called a spread test. So they make the drink that they want to be able to sell in their establishment. They put it on a white plate and then they spread it out on the white plate to see if they can see anything in there. Do they see any bits and pieces? Is there any um, seeds? Is there any lumps or bumps? Is it chunky or is it smooth? That is a smoothie, and that's why they picked it. And that's the way it ought to be. Now, I understand you're also going to be making margaritas, which makes me pretty happy, I have I to am. tell you. Uh, but cleanup on this, Jan, is just as simple. Because you know what? If you look at a big machine like this and you're thinking, boy, that's going to be a bear to clean, I don't want anything to do with it. Watch how easy it is to clean. So I put it right down here. You've got a wash and clean cycle all the way at the bottom. Right down here. Right. And There's a little dial the machine there. On. So it's going to actually start up at a particular speed. So each one of the automatic pre programmed settings. Mm -hmm are designed by the engineering and the culinary team at Vitamix to be the perfect speed right. for the perfect time to make the perfect result. So there's no guesswork. Exactly. I love it. Now, when you want, if it's cleaned already and you want to turn it off, you can just turn it off automatically. Our soup's done, so let me get that. All right, and let me tell you real quickly again, you're going to get the True Teal machine, which is fantastic, gorgeous new color. You're getting the 64-ounce wet container, the dry container, a cookbook for both and a tamper for both. Go to retail, you're going to pay over $771, Jan. We are over $311 less. And then when you factor in free shipping, we're over $331 less. Exactly. And if you're wondering after so many minutes, can you make that delicious and that piping hot soup? Absolutely, you can. And look at how everything is completely and beautifully liquefied. And that's again three ingredients: a can of tomatoes, some cream, and a little bit of um, onion. I'd like you I'll to try it. I would love to. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm. Oh my word! How is that? Creamy, robust, tomatoey. Right. But you would think that I had actually slaved over the stove for two or three hours to get it the right consistency. Roasted Perfect. the tomatoes in the oven. That was how many minutes? Five, six minutes. Six minutes. Wow. That's crazy. Okay. So, again, you're getting two containers. You're getting the wet ingredient container that's going to make our peanut butter for us. You're getting the dry ingredient container that also makes things like the grinding the wheat into flour and making your bread, but you could also grind the coffee beans. I only have a few minutes left, so I'm going to go right to my peanut butter. Okay. And I'm going to do this on the peanut butter ser setting, which is the, it's hard to see from behind, but I think that's the one that says puree. Little wavy signs mm -hmm. in there. Okay, that's the good. one. Take the tamper that comes with it and just push the nuts down into the blade. That blade is turning at 22,500 revolutions per minute, and it's now making peanut butter. The other great thing about this machine is professional. Yeah. 750. It comes with a seven year manufacturer's warranty right. from Vitamix, located in Cleveland, Ohio. It states in writing in the unlikely event anything should happen to your machine, you don't have to worry about it. You simply call Vitamix in Cleveland and they will fix it or replace it for free and they will pick it up at your house, bring it to Cleveland, ship it back to you and they pay the shipping charges both ways so it costs you nothing. Now in the amount of time that I can tell you about how long it's going to last you, <laughs> with a seven year warranty we've had people call in and have had their machines for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. Done. Peanut butter. Look at that. It smells amazing. So perfect, and you can make any nut butter in this. You can make um, almond butter, you can do cashew butter, whatever you love, however you like it, creamy or chunky, however your family enjoys it. Here we go. And I always love that it's warm. Isn't that oh, a great? It's so great. And you know exactly what's inside.
Now, you promised a margarita. I did. Mm. Because that's another reason people buy a blender, any blender. They want to make smoothies and they want to make frozen cocktails. Sure. The problem is most machines can't make a smoothie or a frozen cocktail. But the Vitamix makes both. Now, in here I've got some uh, tequila, some uh, water, um, three of the orange, lemon, and lime that I peeled. And then I just added ice. I'm going to put this on the that smoothie. That's frozen, I'm hoping. <laughs> you know what? It sounds good to me. Looks good to me. Okay, good. So, um, everyone that's watching for the last nine years knows that how much I love my Vitamix. I've had one since 1990. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I should be the person that says it's a great machine. And now, I can show you how to use the tamper again, because if you put in more ice than what you should put in, it'll turn it into a sherbet or an ice cream. So just use the tamper to be able to allow it to continue to do its process. Look at that. But what I'm getting to is that the machine, the Vitamix, has actually been rated by the Food Service Equipment and Supplies magazine. And they're a company that actually goes out and they survey the people that work in hotels, restaurants, and bars. And they ask them to rate the blenders that they use all year long. Mm -hmm. They pick the Vitamix 11 years in a row. Wow. Not the wannabes. Here's why. It's the poor. So we were hoping for some margaritas, and look at that. And that's a frozen margarita. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, all right. That works. Hey, six easy payments on your credit card. Remember, we are, oh, with the free shipping, over $331 less in retail. Use your uh, Q card, and you can put this on 12-month special financing. So don't miss out on this. It's six easy payments, and, of course, available in that gorgeous true teal color. Jen, I think we should drink. I do, too. To your health. No, to your health. To both. Take good care. <laughs> you too. Mmm. Oh, Stacy, you're missing out. Yeah, why does she get the green smoothie and she doesn't get the margarita? Well, that's just there's more margarita. I'm going to give her one of these. Mm. This one's coming for you, Stacy. Stacy Lou, you got a sneak peek at today's special value coming up in 10 minutes. I do, and maybe you've seen this on other television offers, but I can tell you the power smokeless indoor grill that we have is more powerful than the one you've seen on TV, and we've got the better price. This is super popular right now, really hot. Why? Because you can grill steaks, like this big flank steak, burgers, all different kinds of things inside your home any day of the week in any weather and have 80% less smoke than traditional electric grills. It also comes with a griddle plate, so this is great for breakfast. We are $40 less then uh, the other offers you have seen, and we have some amazing demonstrations, like how do you do eggs on this? You're asking in the chat. Eric's here. He's going to show you, and it's coming up in just a bit. Now I'm going to go get that margarita. Bye. Well, now it's time for you to grow your own caprese salad right in containers on your back deck, patio, fire escape, wherever you've got uh -huh. space, right? We're talking about the Roberta six-piece caprese salad Patio Garden Collection. This is Court Walleen, one of the brothers Walleen. Sir, it's good to have you back with us David, on In the Kitchen with David. It's a pleasure to be back here. Thank Always you for having me. Always good to see you. you. And thank I'll you, tell you, you, we had this on a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and it blew up our phone lines. <laughs> well, but I you, know your foodies love good food. Well, they love good tomatoes yes, and good do. basil, and that's what's happening here. But I will tell you this. We started with, well, at this preseason price, we've already taken orders for, uh -huh. 13600 Oh my gosh. I have 5,500 left, but the reason that number is significant is because that's all we have left for the season. That's it. Dave. And when those 5,500 are gone, this will be over for 2019. In this six piece set, you're getting three of these tomato plants. Now, the tomato plants are, or the tomatoes are called Big League. Big League, these because are the they are big, big, big league tomatoes. Up to, up to a pound a piece, 14 to 20 ounces. Per tomato. Here's the good news. From the day you plant these, wait 47 days and you'll have fruit. You're absolutely right. 47, not 46. But 47. 47. Now, in this pack up, you're getting not only three of the big league tomato plants, you're going to receive three of these beautiful basil plants. The Dulce Fresca. And these Dulce Frescas will grow how tall? About 14 inches, David. About 14 They're, inches tall. The tomatoes will grow about 36 to 36 42. inches tall. So that's the perfect size for growing in containers, like you said, on your deck. 
your patio, your balcony, your fire escape if you live in a high rise. Okay. Honestly, you can grow these anywhere to in the country. To give you some perspective, is how many plants are in this in this container? That's one plant. That's what you can expect with one plant. This is one. Just like okay. that, and you're getting three. You're getting three plants like this. When they arrive, they'll be about this mature. Is that right? Yes, exactly right out of the box. This one plant turned into this. Yes. And you're getting three of them. And then you get three pots of the basil. You're right. Now the David. basil's can, the basil can be planted, and then as you need it, you pinch. You pinch. You pinch little pieces off here, and where you pinch, it grows back. It does. It, it sort of branches out and grows back. So you'll be eating mm. delicious, sweet, juicy, homegrown tomatoes and basil all season long. Six total plants: three tomato, three basil. Twenty-four dollars and seventy-eight cents. 13,800 have now been ordered at this sale price. I have 5,200 left. If you're wondering how to plant them, wonder no more. Coming with every purchase will be a planting guide. Now, Court and his brothers write every one of these planting guides. We absolutely guides. do. So they're all unique to this six piece plant set. Now, Court, we should also remind everyone we're not going to ship these plants until they're safe to plant across the country. That's so right, let's Dave. take a look at our zone map. You're ordering now, reserving now. Exactly. You're reserving yours now, but we do not mm -hmm. ship until it's safe to plant in your area. So we'll hold on this graphic for a moment and Court explain to us what we're looking at. So what you're looking at is a map of the United States. So David, find your area of the country. On the bottom there's a color coded key with a date. That's the week that Eric will be home boxing and shipping your plants so you'll <laughs> get them at just the right time to plant to enjoy the full season of flavor, taste, there is nothing better than picking a tomato fresh off your own plant. It's warm, it's juicy, and these are big leagues. These are grown uh, by or hybridized by a company in the UK, David, called Vegetalis, and they specialize in growing the most flavorful fruits and vegetables in a small uh, size, compact size, but you get high yields. And also the Dulce Fresca, this is a traditional Italian basil with all the best flavor. It actually won an American uh, Floral Select Award for the best basil plant. Well, I mean, if you're topping your top fresh your pizzas, pizza. yes. if you're making a beautiful pasta dish, if you're going to make look at your own pasta. bruschetta or your own caprese salad, now look at this. Use this, that fresh basil and make your own pesto. This right? is what I learned to do in my Vitamix from Jan. And I top everything with this basil. I top my Pastas. I top my bruschettas right here, oh, and it's so delicious. Perfect. And then and also here, I made you a caprese. Do you know the ingredients for a caprese salad? I know you do. Of course I do. All Mozzarella right. cheese. Yes. And then the big uh, tomatoes, and yes. then the fresh basil. Yes. And then I usually drizzle a little olive oil, little some, olive some oil. balsamic. Yes. I sometimes even put a little uh, pesto on mine. Yeah. And and here I kicked it up a notch just for you. I made a grilled mozzarella cheese and bacon sandwich. And there's no way I'll ever get my mouth yeah. around that. But what I will try yes. is some of this delightful. And let me let me get, get that the balsamic and oil. There's the oil. A little oil. So it's a simple recipe that's made. Uh, even better by using the best ingredients, and that's what you're getting with Roberta's. This so is simply 14, the best ingredient. Fourteen thousand seven hundred at this price. I have forty-five hundred remaining, and when those are gone, they're gone for good. We will there not go. be able to bring these back in this season. No, we won't. So there. this is your opportunity to get in here and enjoy this fantastic big league tomato, gorgeous basil. And we haven't figured out a way to grow the mozzarella. Well, I know that'll be next, right? Mm. That is so perfect. Isn't it the best? Oh my word, juicy and delicious. Mmm. Yeah. And you're getting three tomato plants, three basil plants. This one tomato plant turned into this. It, that's not three. No. That's one. No. Okay. And, and in just 47 days, you'll be picking big, juicy, homegrown tomatoes, non-GMO. And these this, are the super-sized tomatoes. And this is four easy payments of six dollars and twenty cents. So you're looking at this tremendous offer, only available until this very limited supply sells out, and then it's gone for the rest of 2019. We will not ship these until it's safe to plant in your area. What you're doing tonight is reserving your plants. You're right, Dave. Get them for four easy payments and understand you're getting three of these big league tomato plants and three of the basil plants, and they just keep giving and giving and giving. I've now we've now taken orders for fifteen thousand at this price. Okay. 
I have 4,000 left at this price. All right. And that's all we have left for the season. Then, yes. So that means until 2020. Till next and year. tell us about the guarantee when folks buy a Robertus plant. Well, David, Robertus has a got to grow guarantee. That means on top of QVC's 30 day money back guarantee, Robertus will assure your satisfaction for its perennials for one year, annuals and tropicals for 90 days from time of shipment. So if for any reason, David, your results do not match, uh, meet or exceed your expectations, I like to say, just give us a call. We'll replace your item with a comparable plant at no charge. What I like to say is you can't grow wrong and enjoy your plants. Court, thank you so much. Quick update on our one day only priced item from St. Clair. We started with 3,000 of these. I have six dozen left. You're getting two two pound bags of the chicken and dumplings. You're then getting two pounds of the four cheese mac and cheese and two pounds of that sweet potato Dutch crust casserole. All of this coming your way with no auto delivery and price goes away end of day today. And out of the 3,000 we began with, fewer than six dozen remain. Get yours now while the getting is good. It is exactly 9 p.m. East Coast time. And if you're just tuning in to QVC, welcome and stick around. We're about to kick off another look at our very best value of the day. The best price available for an indoor grill that is smokeless. It's brought to us by the Power Brand. We have the best price available. It has not only a grill, but a griddle plate, tons of recipes, and 80% less smoke than traditional electric grills. It's our very best value of the day. And it starts right now. Well, it's today's special value from Power, the Power Smokeless Indoor Electric 1500 Watt Grill with the griddle plate. Brand new today and already 700 ordered. During this show, that brings us to over 21,000 on the day. You're looking at the very best price available. And you know what's also interesting? You see this particular grill available on the television offers. The one they're offering at television is 1,200 watts. Ours is 1,500 watts. The one they're offering you is way more money. Ours is less money. So wait, we're giving you more power for less money? And we're going to do it on four easy payments tonight? I think it's easy to see why. Already 21,000 ordered for the day, and it's an extraordinary machine. Now, when you lift this cook and look lid, you see the grill plate inside. But we're not only going to just give you the grill plate, that's removable, and then come right down front, and you'll see that you're getting the griddle plate. That griddle plate is amazing because now you're doing your pancakes for weekend breakfast. You're also doing your, oh, I don't know, French toast, your grilled cheese sandwiches, whatever you love. You're also going to get 40 recipes to get you started, grill and griddle, and then everything except for the heat source goes into your dishwasher for quick and easy cleanup. If you're wondering what our value looks like, take a look at this. If you were to go to retail to put together a value that included the power smokeless grill, the grill plate, the griddle plate, the collection pan, the glass lid, and both recipe books, you'd be paying seven pennies shy of $130. We're almost $40 less. We're also on four easy payments on your credit card tonight of just $22.49. And when you're looking to grill, regardless of the weather and regardless of the season, you're looking to grill with Power Smokeless Indoor Electric Grill. Eric Thies is joining us. Eric, what are we looking at right here? Well, you know what? We wanted to show off our smoke extraction technology, right? So, in order to do that, we had to use a traditional grill. So, we used the cast iron grill. We set them both at 450 degrees. Look at the cast iron grill. It's smoking like crazy. Your house is going to be filled with that smoke. Now, look at the 450 degree smokeless grill. But look, from the power. same grill marks. Same grill marks, same unbelievable taste and char like you cooked it outside. But look at my grill. There's no smoke. It's virtually smoke free. In fact, it's almost 80% less smoke than a traditional indoor grill. Well, this is Eric Thies, the man that brings all power products to QVC. It's good to have you back, pal. Thanks, man. How this, are you? I'm great, buddy. This is really exciting because what we're talking about is grilling regardless of the weather. Yes. Now, right now, you know, the snow in some parts of the country are knee deep to an elephant. <laughs> all right. So obviously not a lot of people grilling in the winter months of the year, but I wouldn't worry about that because even in February, what's today? The 13th, tomorrow's Valentine's Day, you're grilling mm -hmm. indoors. But now let's talk about July the 4th. 
you stress every year there's going to be a rainstorm, right? You invite all these people over. <laughs> and there is. And then, oh my word, what am I going to do? We can't go outside for the grill. No worries, I've got my power smokeless grill. I'm going to make the same strip steaks, but I'm going to do it inside. Or what if you're in the middle of the outdoor grilling party and you run out of propane? <laughs> or you think you have that extra bag of charcoal in the garage and you don't. And it's July the 4th and all the stores are closed. Now you're grilling wherever and whenever you need to. And if you're inside, you're doing it with 80% less smoke. You know, I wonder if all those things happened to David because it you said it like sounds heartfelt. very personal, I doesn't know, it? It's very personal. I love it. And that's why we created the Power Smokeless Grill. Guys, look at the char. This is no compromise grilling indoors. Now you can see that smoke extractor, it's actually pulling the smoke in like a vacuum. It's vacuuming up the smoke. Normally to have a char like this, you would have seen what we were doing with that cast iron skillet or an indoor grill. Our smoke detectors would be going off like exactly. crazy. Exactly. Let's take a look at some animation because there's a lot yeah. of technology happening inside this grill and this really breaks it down. Eric, narrate for us. Yeah, it does. So first of all, QVC has the most powerful smokeless grill. It's 1500 watts of power. And then we have an, a thick aluminum grill pan that has holes in it, just like a regular grill. The fat drips down to a water tray which stops a lot of the smoke. But then what we did is we went another step. We added a smoke extractor. That's pulling actually, that smoke away. Exactly. We're moving the smoke. We're pulling it out. So two things are happening here. Yes. There's a collection pan of water in the bottom. Right. I'll show you that. So when the grease is rendered from the meat, it doesn't fall on a hot element and smoke, right? Bingo. Goes into the water. So that's water grabs it. Smokeless. Any smoke that does get generated, yes. then the fan pulls it away. So we're 80% less smoke right. than a traditional electric grill. And I can tell you already, a thousand are gone in this show. It's awesome. We are just getting warmed up. It's 9.05, and a lot of you tuned in right at the top of the hour, and you're still with us. Stay here. Don't go away. Because <laughs> we've got a lot to tell you, and a whole lot more to show you, and a lot of great food to grill. Not just grill, though, Eric, we're griddling as well. Yeah, because what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that you were going to leave it on your counter. Because listen, Countertop space is at a premium, right? And if you're going to earn, if someone's going to earn its space on your counter, it's got to do more than one job. That's right. So we're actually a smokeless griddle, too. I'm loving this idea. Yeah. Potato tots and sausage? Yes. On the griddle? Right, but wait, but wait, there's more. Oh, wait, you're going to get so crazy, aren't you? Stacy just asked, oh, you know what? I'm going to do this first. Stacy just asked me, Eric, how no, can I, yeah, no. please, thank you. How can I do eggs on here? Do I have to do anything? The answer is no. It's a ceramic nonstick. It's fantastic. Cleanup is a joke. It was absolutely created for this substrate. So this is a cast aluminum plate, and you need certain nonsticks to make that work. And there's a little work. lip on the plate, which exactly. is why these eggs are not all running into the bottom of the grill. Now we're going to clap the lid back on this, and it's going to behave like an oven, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So this is going to set up really quick, and then I want to show off the nonstick that we have here. It's going to be really fun. And it's going to answer all the people. Eggs with potatoes, cheese, and sausage. I know. I'm in love. You know what? I left the tomatoes off. I just, I'm just going cheese well, and tomatoes. I can help. Oh. I'm going to help you right. up a little bit. You know what? You're, right. make, you're turning it into healthy food. Well, you know, every now and again, I have to, <laughs> my mother's watching. Okay, come okay, on now. Okay, mom, here you go. So we're going to let that set up for one minute. We're going to come back to it. I'm going to show off the nonstick. Stacy, you can show all of your Facebook friends Woo! how it works. This is so great. All right. Now, let me just tell everybody real quick sure. what they're getting Let's again. I want you to see what's happening here. And it, this is kind of set up in a precarious way. I know. Pick this up. And, and you know, you're tall. You can reach it. I can it. reach I've been, it. I've been I got the reach. All day. Exactly. All right. So, this is the griddle plate. You're getting, and Eric, if you would, please yep. hold that for me. Thank you. So, you're getting that cook and look lid, that dome lid that traps the heat. There's also a silicone ring around the lid. Right. So, it's going to trap the, nice the heat and all the moisture and inside. And stop the splatter. Correct. So, inside here, again, my helper, thank, thank you. you. I reach in here, there are little handles. If I want to change out from the grill plate to the griddle plate, I simply take one out That's right. and put the other in. Both have the handles, see? Now, obviously, if this were hot, <laughs> I would use right. tongs or something. And yeah. Obviously, this one's not. This is cool. But this is just shows you how easy it is, how easy it is to swap this out. Then you pop that lid on top. And they store inside. So you yeah, can store Yeah, if you want to store them both, and yep. that's probably a question a lot of people are asking. So yeah, they both store inside, so that's easy storage. This is your cord. Your cord will disconnect for easy cleanup, and you're getting 40 recipes to get you started. 20 for grilling and 20 for grilling. Great. And I always put pictures in the book because I I'm a visual guy. Well, I and love you pictures. know what? You also know <laughs> what our foodies love. They love pictures with their recipes, and you're gonna love that inside. And if you saw this on the commercial, which a lot of people calling in today have. These are a lot of the recipes that you see me make in that commercial. So now you can make them too. Some of the things we're doing here today as well. Here's something else you want to know about that commercial Eric's talking about. The machine they offer on your commercial 
is 1200 watts. That's the opening price point. Our machine is 1500 watts. Mm -hmm. And we've got the best price available. So wait, that means <laughs> you're giving me more power for less money? Yes, I am. I like this plan. <laughs> All right, take a look here because what would happen if you went to retail to buy this same pack up? The grill, the grill plate, the griddle plate, the collection pan, which is the water pan, the glass lid, and the two recipe books, you're paying seven pennies shy of 130 bucks. We are going to offer that same value for almost $40 less. Then we're going to put it on four easy payments on your credit card of only $22.49. And now, my friends, what you're not doing is filling your home and setting off every smoke detector. <laughs> I want to change the siren on my smoke detector to, <laughs> to a voice that says, the house isn't on fire, I'm just cooking. <laughs> All right, but look at this. That's a regular uh, skillet or a griddle pan. Right, set at 450 degrees. Yeah, so a grill pan on 450, same right. burger, same fat content. 80 20. And we just turned those over with tons of smoke. Now, on today's special value, same grill marks. Where's the smoke? There's some smoke there. But it's being drawn into the machine and, and dispersed. So you're telling me this is 80% less smoke yes. than a traditional electric grill. Yeah. And way more less smoke than that skillet. That's right. And you know, guys, we're not just making that up. We had to go to a lab. We had to go to a lab to get that claim. So we're not joking around when we make that claim. That's real, uh, that's a real percentage done with real scientists. 22,000 of these ordered today. You should know that in this show, 1,500 are now gone. Now look at this look at egg. This. Look how it's dancing around on that griddle top. Because this is nonstick. This is ceramic nonstick. Yeah, this is ceramic nonstick. Look at the eggs that I just put down with David before. Now I'm just going to give them a little flip. Look at that. There's zero cleanup needed here. We just wipe it clean. While we're here, walk us through the controls. Yeah, I'd love to. So what I did before is my eggs were starting to overcook. So I just turned it down a little bit. We have an LED it's light. push button. Push button. When I want to go up, I push it up. And if it's not up to the temperature you set it at, it will blink until it reaches that temperature. So it's preheating. It's preheating. And when it stops it's like blinking, my oven. exactly, it beeps. So ours doesn't beep, it stops blinking. And that's as easy as it gets. And then when it's time to unplug it, I simply just disconnect the cord that's right it. here, guys. There it is. I just pulled this out of the side. I'll pop it back in so the lights will come back on. But that means the cord comes out for easy cleanup. Right. And everything inside can be cleaned except the heating element right. in your dishwasher. That's right. Everything that touches food except the element, which you just wipe off when it's, when it's um, cold. Yep. Everything else goes in the dishwasher. This is a, a plastic housing. You just wipe it off with a cloth. It's super it's easy. It's so, so perfect. And we are $40 less than retail on this. And we're a more powerful machine than they offer, even on the television offer. So they're at 1,200 watts. We're at 1,500 watts. And Terry in California is awfully excited about this. Hi, Terry. Hi, David. Hi, Eric. Hey, how are you? I am great. How are you? Good. We're super tonight. Glad you dialed in. What did you think of the Power Smokeless Indoor Electric Grill and Griddle? Oh, I, I can't wait to get it. So I ordered it today, and I, I came on to ask you a question about how to clean the heating element, but you just answered it <laughs> within 30 seconds ago. Yes, yep. that's what we're here just for. Just make sure it's cool, Terry, and then just yep. wipe it clean with, uh, with a damp cloth, and then you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, great. That's going to work I out beautifully. Wait. What do you think you're going to cook first, Terry? Well, you know, I love my steaks in... Um, the air fryer. So I wanna, I wanna try them on this. Well, how, how would you like some and, New York strips? And chicken and pork chops and everything you've made tonight looks great. I wanna try it all. Now look here. We're we're just taking these New York strips off the grill. We're gonna cut into those and let you see juicy, delicious. Check this out. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna help you, Eric. Pull some of that out. Of the way. Oh, thanks. There we go. There we go. Check that out. Look at that. Wow. A nice, that's a nice medium. Look at that. I cooked these live time, guys. As soon as David walked over, we medium, dropped medium them well. down. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, as we did a couple of demonstrations, I flipped them over. We came back to it and we cooked them right here live time. And you so, know what, Terry, if you love your steak, just sear it on each side and then nice and rare on the middle, then you're going you're gonna to turn it pretty quickly. If you want it a little, no, more, yeah. if you want it a little and, more done, and, you clap that lid on top. And then probably grilling mushrooms would be great on here, huh? Portobellos would be beautiful on here. Marinate those up go, nicely, and then you could even do those on the griddle pan if you wanted to. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's true. 
You know, we don't talk enough about the griddle in my opinion because the griddle is going to be used way more than you think it will. And if you just bought it for the grill, you'd love it. But once you drop that griddle in and you can do breakfast, lunch, and dinner, then you're going to really fall in love <laughs> with it. Yeah, I bet grilled cheeses are great on there. Oh, it'll be wonderful. Wait till you see the stuffed French toast. And when they doing. goo and ooze out of the sides, no worries. It's a ceramic nonstick plate, so you're going to have quick and easy cleanup. Oh, I can't wait. Good for you. Terry, we'll get it out to you straight away. Glad you're shopping tonight. Thank you, Terry. Have a good night, guys. You Thank too, you. sweetie. Bye bye. Be well. So, for the day, 22,600 in this show, over 2,000 are now gone. Whoa. Take a look at this value story again, reminding you that at retail, you're looking at almost $130. We are $40 less. We're four easy payments on your credit card of $22.49, and we're delivering it all straight to your door. The machine they feature in the television offer is typically a 1,200 watt machine. We're offering you a 1,500 watt machine, which means even greater searing, and we are the best price available. This is so exciting. Don't miss out on this and join now the nearly 23,000 people on the day and 2,100 in the show. Look at these chicken breasts. Yeah, so uh, we have the chicken we put down. I only put salt, pepper, and a little bit of rub on there. Then I put it on very high. I'll put the lid on. And then I'm just going to drop it down a little bit because I, I want it to just cook a little bit slower. So I have control over that. When it's done, I can take it all the way down to warm. And then I can have dinner when I'm ready. And then when we come back, I think David wants to show you everything that we get again. Right. I can't wait to show you the flank steak because I do flank steak a lot on my grill. It's like probably the number one thing I do all summer long. When you see how great it comes out on here, you're going to realize why people. Well, fall in you love know what? Let's do that now because you've got it okay. ready to roll. Yeah, let's and do then it. we'll come back to the what you get because this is something you want to serve up and have it be perfect. Look at this gorgeous flank steak. Now, flank steak can be one of the toughest cuts unless you cook it properly. So this allows you to cook this one, get a nice sear. Most people like a flank steak, nice and rare on the inside. Maybe you make a chimichurri to go over that, or maybe yeah. you'll slice it thin into a stuffed flank steak. But I want you to see how beautifully this cooks. Because Eric, when we pop that lid on the top, it traps the heat inside, doesn't it? That's exactly right. In this case, we're going to do we caramelized some onions, some pearl onions. We did a little balsamic glaze, and um, then we're just going to cut our flank steak. And you're going to see a beautiful char on the outside. And you're gonna see a nice, delicious, juicy flank steak on the inside. Look at that. Here, let's do this. Pull this out to the side just a hair. There we go. Can we see that better now? There it is. <laughs> now look at that. Okay. That's, again, everything is cooked live time right here on the set. While you see David maybe uh, presenting something else with somebody else, we're back here cooking, all live, done right here. The people that have been calling today have been, the testimonials have been fantastic. People that have had it for a few months, they tell me that they just fallen in love with it and how everything I'm doing here works exactly the same way at home. 23,000 now gone for the day. That means 2,400 just since 8 p.m. That's an hour and 16 minutes ago. So lots and lots of you making your choice now. You'll get this cook and look lid, which acts as that oven that will trap all the heat inside. Here's your grill pan. Beneath that is the griddle pan. So you're going to be able to use both obviously one at a time, but they store together. Is that nice? So once these are all cleaned, and these go in the dishwasher piece, by the way. Yes. So once those are all cleaned and dried, pop them right back inside. And this is what you're storing. Even the cord disconnects. So it's easy, easy, easy to store. So once all of this is taken care of, you're looking at four easy payments, two cookbooks, one for grilling, one for griddling, and your power cord, 40 recipes in total, grill plate, griddle plate, 1,500 watts of power, $130 at retail, or $40 less. We're also four easy payments on your credit card. This is your moment, and this is your time to take advantage of that. Take a look at the difference again, and Eric, talk to us about what we're seeing. Yeah, so what we did is we took a grill pan. We put it on an induction burner at 450 degrees. Look at the smoke in the background. We put the power smokeless grill on 450 degrees as well. We turned the fan on. Now watch what happens when we pan out. All of the smoke you see from the grill pan will be in the distance. It'll be just a memory, something that you used to do. Now your house isn't going to smell like dinner that you had on Monday on Friday because we took out up to 80% of the smoke, you guys. So now you can grill with outdoor results indoors 365 days a year, whether it's hot, cold, raining, sleeting, 
whatever, mosquitoes, no more. Let's go to our phone lines. We're going to welcome Linda in Indiana. Linda, I know it's cold tonight, probably snowy where you are, but regardless of what the weather is, you can be grilling inside. What do you think? Hey, David, I am so <laughs> excited to get to finally talk to you. Well, Eric, thank you. Hey. hey. It's good to have you here tonight and talk to us. What do you think of our today's special value? Well, I'm really excited to get it. I've been seeing them on the infomercials, and I am looking forward to not having to mess with my propane out of my deck in the summer or the winter, and it has been really rough this winter here. Oh, I don't, I've don't. i read all about it, seen it on the news, and you all have had it worse than we've had here on the East Coast. So it's, yes. it's amazing. Yes. Yes, and I have to commute every week to out of state to work, and it seems like it has been crazy, crazy, crazy. So I am definitely looking forward to spring and definitely looking forward to this. So <laughs> what are you going to grill first, do you think? Um, probably some of my Rustelli steak. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm doing Rustelli burgers here. Exactly. Rustelli oh. burgers. We've got hot dogs going. We've got cheeseburgers on the grill. It's, it's dinner time. Yeah. Well, it all looks really great, so I'm really looking forward to it. Good for you. What did you think about the cleanup on this, Linda? Um, anything that's easy, count me in. Yeah. <laughs> because you know what? I say life is short, buy a dishwasher. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know what? This is what it's all about. Now you got a chance to put everything in the dishwasher. The only thing that doesn't go in the dishwasher is the heating element. Correct. Correct. So, oh, yeah. Great. But here again, like I said, I'm so looking forward to it. Wonderful. Hey, Linda, stay tuned tonight. We're going to show you more of what your new machine can do for you, and we're so thrilled to meet you. You too. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm like one of your hugest fans. So, I so wish, I'm a flight attendant. I'm always, I know you probably don't fly my airline, but everybody knows uh, what my doing is like on Sunday. They know not to disturb me. Because <laughs> well, I tell you what, I did fly home yesterday, and the flight attendant uh, that was uh, on my plane was a big in the kitchen fan, and we had a lot to talk about on the plane awesome. yesterday. So, we had a good time. If I ever am on your, pli on your flight, please come and introduce yourself, okay? Oh, definitely. And the whole crew. That sounds great. <laughs> Wonderful. You take good care tonight, Linda. It's a pleasure to meet you. Okay, you too. Take care. Take care, sweetie. Bye bye. Thanks, Linda. Nice to meet you. So, yeah, the flight center that, that, um, that was on my flight yesterday, her name was Tanya, and she was awesome. She brought me unlimited supplies of, of um, soda. Oh, okay. <laughs> she did. <laughs> All right, so this is K48367. Every time I turned around, she was filling my glass. I, oh, wow. like, I love this. I love this. It's fantastic. <laughs> um, what was that story, Sean? 23,600 for the day and 3,200 in the show. Whoa, that's another lots thousand. Lots and right lots of you are making your choice. Take a look at this animation. I would love for you to narrate yeah. for us, Eric, so we can know what's happening inside. Yeah, so QVC got the extra power. You could see the coil in there. It's really huge, almost takes up the whole space. Then what happens is that coil heats up and creates even heating from end to end. So no matter where you put your steaks, you're going to get great grill marks. 18 inches you have, so you can get four giant New York strips, we had eight fillets, but we have two levels of smoke extraction technology. One is a water tray that the fat drips down into the water instead of the element so it doesn't explode and create smoke. Exactly. But then whatever's left over, we have a smoke extraction technology that literally vacuums out the remaining smoke, up to 80% of the remaining smoke That's in amazing. fact. So, so let's remind you that this is quick and easy because the probe on the side or the, the, uh, the two button operation, you, uh, you, uh, you hit the up arrow to increase your temperature and right. the down arrow to decrease. Now uh, this, this little guy, the little plug fell out, so I put it back in and now it's telling me it's heating back up. So you could see that my LED light is blinking. When that LED light stops blinking, then I know that I'm hot again. So we're almost there. I'm going to do a little cheesy uh, grilled uh, chicken parmesan here. Oh. And uh, it, yeah, it's grilled, so it's healthier. What about French kidding. toast sandwiches? Yeah, so these are stuffed with raspberries and chocolate, and we did wow. this on the griddle. So you saw all the steaks Wait, that we were doing. Wait, let me just make sure I understand this. This is French toast, Texas toast. Texas toast. That's been stuffed with raspberries and chocolate. Yeah. And then dunked in an egg and milk mixture. <laughs> yes. Probably some cinnamon up in there too, if I'm going to guess. And then you're going to grill these up on the griddle pan, and then we're going to top that with syrup. And butter, and, and a little and powdered, powdered sugar. And powdered sugar. Now look at the capacity okay. of this. Guys, I'm telling you, you eat one of these and you're going to be really, really happy. Well, you eat two of these, it's a heart stopper. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, if you could eat two of these, I'd be very impressed. Wow. I mean, this is this is serious breakfast right here. I'm kidding me. So uh, we're gonna make a tower of stuffed French toast. <laughs> We're gonna put a little. That's the only kind of snow I want to see: powdered sugar <laughs> on the French toast. Oh, you know what? Tell me about. It. I don't want to see any more snow. I'm you pretty guys. much over it. And then uh, we'll just we'll just. Oh kill my it. word! A little butter with a little, your, just a little. A bit. little French that's toast all, with your look butter. Just a little bit of butter with that whole stack. Wow. I mean, come that's on. that's impressive. Now that's a beautiful stack of French toast, and trust me, when you see the chocolate and raspberries inside there, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've been I've literally been resisting that all day long. I think on the last presentation day I I'm getting I think you better put go face down right in that. Hey, but look can at I our tell cleanup, you, guys. But look at the, here, I'll help you with Yeah, cleanup. thanks. Do it. Here's clean up. Are you are you getting tired? No. <laughs> I am not. And I'll tell you, this is crazy. Now that 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 plate is hot. This is the griddle pan. But now, moms and dads, little ones are getting off the school bus and they love an after school snack. And you'd feel good about them having a hot sandwich, right? Yeah. Hot grilled cheese. Oh. Wouldn't that be great? You make a grilled cheese, split it for the kids. They each get a half, hold them over while they're doing their homework. You're ready for dinner. So all this works out really nicely. So what was breakfast is now turned into your lunch or your afternoon snack. Can I have griddle. tomato soup with that? Sure you can. Thank you. All right, because you made an A in spelling. <laughs> all right, so this is what it's all about. Take advantage of using this no matter what you're cooking and what you're grilling. I love what you've done here. You've done a really, really fantastic grilled lunch. And something that is full of things that are good for us. This is grilled yeah. romaine and grilled shrimp kebab. Yeah, it's that easy. And then we're just going to put a little salad dressing on it. So this is the type of things that you can do. So whether you're doing that decadent French toast that I just showed you, or we're going to do a nice delicate shrimp kebabs. Look at this. We can take them all off. We're going to lay them oh, right over our perfectly salad. Perfectly cooked too, because they're that. crispy. They've got just a little char on them. How yeah, nice. and then we just put a little salad dressing on that. And then that's our lunch or our dinner or appetizer. And that's a great way to use the grill. So you don't have to just do giant steaks and burgers and hot dogs. You don't have to use the griddle uh, all the time to make decadent French toast and pancakes. You can do uh, shrimp and scallops come out great when you grill scallops on the grill because all the moisture gets sucked out. It's a great way to go. So since launch, we've taken orders for 24,200. And how many in this show? 3600. I want you to see over here, we did this because we wanted you to see how neatly this fits on your countertop. Now, we know that countertop real estate is at a premium in most kitchens, right? Because I don't think I've ever heard a person say, I've got way too much counter space in my kitchen. <laughs> I love I've got say so that. much counter space in my kitchen, I can't fill it all, said no one ever, right? So, what's happening here is that this is earning its real estate because this isn't just a grill pan, this is also a griddle. So in the morning, I'm making pancakes on here. I'm doing breakfast meats. I'm doing whatever I'm doing for my family. And then at lunchtime, I'm making a quick grilled cheese. And then for dinner, I'm putting my bone-in pork chops on the grill. This is what's so extraordinary. But you know what else I'm not worried about? Look at this. See what's happening under here? This is the underneath of my cabinet. You can't see that. Now you can see it. Look what's happening here. I don't worry about smoke gathering under here. You know why? Because all the smoke is being eliminated. That's right. 80% less smoke than a traditional electric grill. So what I'm not worried about is filling my whole underside of my kitchen cabinets with smoke or making everything stink like smoke. Yeah, right? not only that, you put the lid on and then you've cleared the splatter so you don't have the splatter on your backsplash and all over your counter either. So everything that we put in the system was there for a reason. It wasn't just like, oh, let's throw a lid in. The lid is there for a reason. Plus and it melts cheese really well. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's almost a rule. So this is what's so great about it. You've now got a machine that's going to do double duty in your kitchen and help you with every meal of every day in your home. You know, we invest in things in our kitchen, and let's be honest, a lot of things get pushed under the cabinet and they don't get used again. If you're going to invest in a kitchen appliance, you want it to be multi-use. Yes. And you want it to be something that is easy to clean because if both of those things are true, you're mm -hmm. using it more often. Yeah, right? and you'll leave it out. And when you leave it out, you're going to use it. And that's why we put the griddle and the lid so you could do so many things. Frozen chicken. You know, I always have some frozen meat in the, in the freezer. And if you don't feel like going to the supermarket, you can throw these right onto the griddle or the grill from frozen. Now, I do this quite a bit. Um, so you just griddle these or grill them. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a whole ton of mozzarella cheese. Or if you're from North Jersey, it's mozzarella. And, uh, and if you're from where I live, you're just happy because there's a lot of cheese. <laughs> and then we're going to put a little tomato sauce on there. So you're making like a chicken parm bake. That's right. You? And you're going to see how the cheese lifts off. In fact, the last time I did this, I lifted all six chicken breasts up at the same time. Because the cheese, cheese. kind of connected them together. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I love that. We'll put a little more cheese on top. I'm going to put the lid on 
we're going to melt it up, and then I'm going to serve it over spaghetti. We should all be where you're from in New Jersey. You're very, you're very generous with the cheese. <laughs> I don't mess around with I love cheese. that. People are like, David, do you like cake? I said, not as much as I like cheese. Uh. All right, now this is K48367. Let's take a look at the difference. You're looking at two ways to cook the very same burger. Now, these burgers are identical. They're the same fat ratio. Absolutely. They go out there, 80-20. 80-20. Now, on the far end of the video, or on the top end of the video, that's a regular cast iron skillet or grill pan. Smoking up a storm. At you know what else? You know what else smells like that? Your drapes, your carpet, <laughs> your shirt, your pants, your hair. And there's the same burgers on today's special value. Same grill marks, same great even cooking and beautiful sear. But what do you not see with today's special value? All that smoke. Do you come away from this grill smelling like burgers? No. I mean, for like five minutes, I want to smell like a burger. <laughs> but then the next morning, I don't want to smell like a burger. I don't want to get out of bed smelling burgers in my hair, right? So this is what it's all about. We're going to help reduce 80% of the smoke, okay? 80% less smoke than a traditional electric grill. Sean, what was that you were telling me? Okay, before we take this call, we've got another update. Oh, okay. So for the day, 24,500 of these are gone and 4,000 now in this show. Take a look as it's almost 9.30 East Coast time. Eric, pardon me. Oh, sure. We're just going to show everybody again what you're getting. You're getting this cook and look later. I'll need your help. Are you going to Yeah, I'll be right away? Back. All right, fantastic. All right. All right, now I need your help. So hold my, hold my lid. Here is the grill pan. Here is the griddle pan. Now, these are obviously cold, which is why I can handle them. When they're hot, you'll not want to use tongs or an oven mitt. Now, if I'm going to swap these out, just pop that grill pan right down inside. Do my chicken breasts, barbecue, uh, pork chops, whatever I'm doing, all that goes in here. When these are get, they get dirty, they go in the dishwasher. When they come out of the dishwasher, all pristine, clean, and dry, we stack them right back on top of each other. Park the lid on top, and that's how you store it. Your power cord disconnects, so that makes it easy. And you get two recipe booklets for a total of 40 recipes. Jane, Tracy's gonna eat. Are you hungry? Hey, Jane. Yeah, you're coming later to have my, my Valentine dessert. <laughs> you are my Valentine seven days a week. All right, this is K48367. Let me also tell you, we are four easy payments on the credit card. Eric, yes, go sir. to retail and put this identical offer together right down to the two recipe books, and you're looking at about 130 bucks. We're $40 less. $40 less. Someone offers you two 20s today, you can take it? Yeah. Any day. Right? Four easy payments on your credit card of $22.49 for the day. 24,800, and in this show, 4,200 are now gone. Let's welcome Kim right here in Pennsylvania. Kim, good evening. How are you? Hi, Hi Kim. David. Nice to have you with us tonight. Eric and I would love to know what do you think of today's special value? Oh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to try it. Wonderful. What did you see tonight that impressed you? What made you call in? Well, my husband just made some homemade sausage. And we wanted to go outside and grill it, and we didn't have any gas. Yep, bingo. So I thought this would be something great that we could have all the time. And when we're in 10 inches of snow, then it doesn't. Ha we don't have to get cold. Well, you know what? And Kim, you just said the magic words about being out of propane. Now, I would expect on November, or excuse me, February the 13th, for you to be out of propane. But now let's fast forward to June 30th <laughs> or August 7th. And you and your husband decide you're going to have a great, great steak dinner. It's late in the day. You've already come back from the grocery store. You don't want to go back out in the, in the, in, in the car. You probably already had, had some cocktails, right? <laughs> Maybe one. And then. Yeah. We can stay nice and cold in the air conditioning and yeah. have our steak dinner. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. No matter the yeah. season, no matter the time of year, don't worry about whether or not the weather or the propane is cooperating. <laughs> go inside and use your power smokeless. That's for sure. Good for you. Hey, before you go, Kim, let's, let's sneak over here and check out um, Eric's chicken parm bake. <laughs> oh, that sounds good. He grilled the chicken, then he smothered it in mozzarella cheese and Parmesan and sauce, and then clapped the lid back on, and look how melty and perfect this cheese is. And now it goes right on top of the pasta. And oh. how does that, that look good. for you and your husband for dinner one night? And you know, uh, Kim, good. it's healthy because I didn't bread the chicken. Well, yeah, that's it. <laughs>
What we, do you think? We might have made up for that in the cheese quotient, but anyway. That's true, yeah, but, but that's okay. But you know I'm what? I'm sure we can find lots of uses for it. Cheese is dairy, and dairy is good, right? Okay. <laughs> that so is fantastic. always good. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, Kim, we're going to get this out to you straight away and hope you and your husband enjoy all the goodies that you're both grilling and griddling, okay? All right. Take care. Thank you so nice much. Nice to meet you, Kim. You do the same. Bye-bye. <laughs> So this is going to be your last look of the day. We're here with you until 11 p.m. Eastern time tonight. That's when Jane Tracy joins us. So she's got lots of great shopping at 11, but she will not have another look at today's special value, I don't believe. It's, she's got shoe shopping at 11. Okay, great. Well, did you see Jane's yellow shoes, by the way? Wow. Well, yeah, she's all dressed up for Valentine's, too. She's, she's looking fabulous as always. Oh, look at that. Now, is that a, is that a triple burger? It's a double burger oh, with, a, a, double oh, with burger. a nice tomato. I love nice tomatoes. We had nice oh, tomatoes. Oh, you had today. heirloom tomatoes. Yeah, look at we that. Did. They're Very really, really beautiful. Nice. Well, you're from Jersey. You're used to good tomatoes. <laughs> I know. Come on now. Hey, this uh, is K48367. They don't call the Garden State for nothing. Um, <laughs> this is four easy payments of $22.49, and we're talking about. God, that was Gigantic burgers and hot dogs oh. and chicken breasts and pork chops. And don't forget fish. Because no. all of you bought that salmon last week yes. on our Today's Special Value. That salmon on this grill pan, mwah, I had the salmon. You all watched me eat it for the first time on TV right here. You saw it live. This is what's amazing about this grill and griddle. Yeah, you can do that salmon either way. You can grill, you can griddle it and get a nice sear on it. Well, or it throw came it on with all those pots of butter, the herbed butter. Oh. So what if you use the griddle pan and you melted some of that butter oh, on there? Oh, and then cooked it in that. And then cooked it in the butter. My shoes would taste good if you cooked them in butter. <laughs> Come on now. So this is what's amazing because you've got all that capability. We need to show more food. Yeah. All right. Okay. The, so we talked a lot about fish. We talked about meat. We didn't talk about pizza yet, right? Wait, so are you baking that crust in there? I'm actually grilling it. Oh, you're grilling it. Yeah, so uh, we took that refrigerator dough that you like to call wampum. The wampum dough. So this yep, is yep, wampum yep. pizza well, dough. Well, to explain that, you Please. peel the paper off the tube and you wamp it on the countertop <laughs> to open it up. Wampum pizza dough. He said that to me once and I, I've been using it ever since I've been there stealing that. There you go. That. I love fair it. enough. So now this is hot, guys. We just flip it Look over. Look at the grill marks. So what, this is how you do it. You, you, roll it. you roll it out. It's pizza dough in a wampum can. And then you just w wait, like about... Three or four minutes. Or you buy the pizza doughs that are frozen in the market. Any pizza doughs going to Or the ones they sell fresh in the this market. This is the one I used here. As soon as you can flip it, and you, see, you just kind of check underneath. Once you see grill marks, it's ready to flip. When you can flip it, you do. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to put a little fresh mozzarella. So you're going to start with the cheese. I always okay. start with the cheese. Every, it's kind of a theme today, isn't it? Well, you know what? Again, not, not complaining. All right, and then we're going to do a little pesto. So again, the lid is going to come in handy for oh, us. Oh, this might be that fresh pesto we made with a Walleen Caprese. Ooh, I wonder if it was. Because Steve made be. this for me, so maybe it was. It might be. All right, so we're going to put down some pesto. And, uh, you know, I could go on and on, guys. We're going to put down a couple of these tomatoes. And then I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm just going to crank it up just a little bit so I don't want to put burn the more, crust. I'm put a little more cheese up on there. Oh, oh. I mean, come on. All right, I all mean, right. Since we're here. Since we're here. I mean, you know, no one's driving. Everybody <laughs> calm down. All right, and then. Now look at the dome lid. This is a very thick pizza. You see the crust is thick. And, and see what's happening here is now all the heat that's being generated in there is bouncing up against this lid and going back into that cheese, melting it beautifully, right. warming the tomatoes, and warming crisping the crisping the bottom. And crisping the, the crust. All right, we're going to pop that up. Again, let me just show you the control right here since we're doing it. I just take my finger. And I go up and down. The LED lights up to tell you where you are, and it stops flashing. It stops blinking when it gets to the temperature you set it at. Mm. We want to talk about Valentine's Day, really. Surf quick? and turf. Yeah. So we did big fillets, right here. Look, we got a nice sear on these. Then we did some lobster. So it doesn't matter what you do. You can do anything on the grill. I'm telling you, you're not going to compromise at all. The flavor, the crisp, everything. Scallops are one of my favorite things to do on here. These are still going. I promised David I would make him uh, peanut butter pancakes. All right, I want to see these peanut butter, pa peanut butter and jelly pancakes. Didn't you say peanut butter and jelly? We ran out of the jelly syrup, so we're using regular syrup. I know, I was so disappointed. I <laughs> Steve, I've been looking forward to peanut butter afraid. jelly pancakes all night, and you're out of jelly. I've been afraid to tell him that. Y'all better hop on your bicycle and get over the For supermarket. For the last 40 minutes, I've been, I've been nervous. All right, hey, let me tell you that we have now taken orders for. 25,600, that means in this show, over 5,000 are now gone. Now, obviously, it's easy enough to buy a jar of jelly or preserves at the grocery store. That's what you're going to top these with. But you mixed peanut butter into the pancake batter? Yeah. 
Creamy so, peanut butter. Yeah, you take your, your favorite uh, pancake recipe, and then you whisk uh, creamy peanut butter in it. It works out great, trust me, guys. And then uh, you make peanut butter pancakes that are absolutely delicious. Everybody's been like freaking out over these now, all day. Now, did you replace anything in the recipe with no? The, or you just added it to? No, it? I added it to it. Cre it's got to be creamy peanut butter. Do it warm so you can incorporate it in there. We're gonna pop this up, and you guys know when it gets a little bubbly on the top, we're gonna flip them. Mm -hmm. And then what I did is I made a peanut butter cream. Well. So I did whipped cream and peanut butter. Well, I whipped it. it up. That's just embarrassment of riches, right there. <laughs> and then you're supposed to serve it with butter and. Jelly syrup, but we're just going to use maple syrup today. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Somebody better get on their unicycle and get over to the Piggly Wiggly. All right, this is K48367. Um, we want to remind you also we're looking at the best price available on this grill griddle, smokeless grill griddle from Power. And here's some animation that shows how it works. Take a look here. Yeah, so we have the huge, powerful coil on the inside. QVC got the 1500 watt up from 1200. That heats that aluminum pan, the aluminum grill pan, even end to end. Then, of course, it's got holes in it, so the fat actually drips down. So we've had callers tell us they bought it because they wanted to save the fat. <coughs> then we put a, a smoke extractor in on top of our water extractor. So we have two levels of smoke extraction technology. Right. That's going to work for you to get rid of almost 80% of the smoke. So, all right, so pop that back there. If you'll help me again, my friend. Of course. We've got the cook and look lid, which also serves as kind of that heat trap to get all of the heat inside. Your grill pan is here. That lifts up and out. You can replace it with the griddle pan. Both go in the dishwasher for quick and easy cleanup. When it's all clean, stack them both in on top of each other and then pop that lid back on because that's how you're going to store this when it's not being used. You'll get 40 recipes to get you started. There's a, um, a removable power cord. So all of this comes together for you at a phenomenal value. Take a look at our price again. If you were to go to retail to put together this identical offer, you'd be paying just seven pennies shy of 130 bucks. We are almost forty dollars less. We're also four easy payments on your credit card, and that means now for the day, twenty-five thousand eight hundred have been ordered, and in this show alone, five thousand three hundred are gone. We're going to have another look at this coming up a little later in the show. But Mr. Eric, thank you, sir. I think you should talk to your staff about that. Jelly syrup. <laughs> I think they're already making it again. Missing in action. All right, here we go. Okay, we also have is this the big deal? Oh, the big deal is happening right now. It just kicked off a little while ago on Q2. This is, I believe, Diamondique, isn't it? Diamondique 4.10 carat heart eternity band ring set in sterling silver. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's a choice of sterling and then also the. Oh, it's sterling covered in yellow or rose gold. Oh, pretty. Very nice. Right? That wouldn't be a bad Valentine's Day gift. By the way, I have your gift. But you already told me you bought the gift. So do I still give it to you? Are you or, do about I what? or do I quick go shopping and find something else now? Well. What's the right thing to do? Actually, let me know in the chat. Let me know. Should I get him a replacement gift since he just bought it? Well, or should tell I still her what, give it to him? On her Monday step by step with Stacey show, she had <laughs> this bacon grease holder that you keep in your kitchen. Yes. I was watching your show ever. on QVC.com while oh, I was away on vacation. You. And I fell in love with it and I ordered two of them. <laughs> Meanwhile, I had ordered him one. For Valentine's yes. Day. Yes. Okay. Red. So let's talk about okay. what's coming up and then I have a um, special announcement. Okay, hot pick. Yep. This has got to be one of our most popular countertop ovens, the KitchenAid. It's a convection oven. It is amazing. It's a powerhouse. It's like having a second oven in your kitchen that you can whip up all kinds of things from cakes to a five pound chicken, lots of capacity. Um, here's the thing we are $93 less. Then they have sold separately priced because we have the free shipping and handling That's tonight. Great. But there is no reorder. Um, you've got some big things going on right now. I have a big announcement to share with all of you. This Saturday on NBC's Today Show, I will be appearing live doing recipes from my new cookbook. Woo! So I'm very excited. This <laughs> Saturday morning, I'll be on during the 8 30 to 9 a.m. Eastern Time block. So check your okay. local listings. Because that'll be different depending on what time zone you're in across the country. However, uh, very excited to have been invited to be on the Today Show this Saturday morning. Now, I'll be posting about this on social, so you'll be able to know exactly when and where. And Stacy has all the information in the chat tonight. Yep. But I'm making two recipes for my new book. Okay. I'm making the pot sticker soup. It's awesome. And the chicken pot pie with the biscuit Ooh, topping. So because all the Today Show producers were very excited about the shortcuts in the book, and their viewers were as well. So I'm very pleased to tell you I'll be on Saturday morning Today Show. Nation 
question why. Can't wait. So tune in and watch. Awesome. I think that deserves a hip bump. Woo! Hip action. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> How about some Russell Stover chocolates in an exclusive configuration just for us? You had me a chocolate. All right, let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Take a look at these beautiful, beautiful chocolates and truffles and confections and Russell Heigel is joining us. No relationship to Russell Stover, sadly. He says that all the time. But this is their top of the line, top shelf, a special configuration that you can only find on QVC. In fact, it's exclusive to us through the end of March. Is yes, that right? Yes, it just got extended. Yes. It's good to have you back, sir. Yes, thank you nice so much. Nice to see Thanks, you. How David. long with Russell Stover for you? I've been with Russell Stover for four years, but That's Russell great. Stover's been um, dedicated to the joy of gifting for about a hundred years. A hundred years. Yes. And we brought our brand new Russell Stover Copper gift box of chocolates exclusive to QVC until the end of March. And there you see our pecan delight box, you get our truffle box, mm. and our number one assorted box. So, three boxes of yes. chocolates and treats and confections that you're going to be able to share or save for yourself. Yes. And if I'm reading that graphic correctly, I'm getting all three boxes for $20.47. It's an cents. amazing value. This yes. is unbelievable. Now, since we launched this, 15,600 sets have been ordered. That's sets of three. Yes. And I have only 5,500 remaining. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now, these are going to go quickly. They're on four easy payments. What is the shelf life on this? These will stay fresh for up to a year, and there's actually a guaranteed freshness on the back of every box. But we so, do not freeze these, correct? No, no. Keep them in a nice, cool, dry place. They'll stay fresh for up to a year. So if we can, sir, let's go yes. through each box and show everybody let's what's do inside that. because this is loaded with your favorite. Yes, yes. If I could just quickly show the box. This is our new copper box. You are greeted with a beautiful sleeve on the outside with that chocolate drizzle. Our perfectly imperfect chocolates that are pictured. All of our chocolates are made from scratch. You take that sleeve off. You're greeted with this beautiful copper box. And you open it up, and the inside for the very first time, you get a chocolate guide that helps you identify your brand new favorite pieces. All of the pieces are identified by either the shape, the cup they're in, or the design on the top. And then you are greeted with that brand new assortment from Russell Stover. Ooh, now we you're ask talking. exactly. Are we ask consumers, young and old, what do you want more from Russell Stover? You said caramels, toffee, chocolate covered nuts, our nut clusters. You're getting this brand new assortment, a whole box plus a box of truffles, plus a box of our number one piece, our pecan delight. Can I tell you that we are super, super busy? And here's our story. In less than a month, We've sold now 16,000 of these. Oh my goodness. I have 5,000 left. That means another 400 wow. just sold in this show alone. That's amazing. Let's go through these. And these are the pecan delights. delights. Yes, this is that classic recipe that's been delighting generations of chocolate lovers. What you see is our crunchy pecans and that kettle cooked caramel. That's what makes Russell Stover so special our kettle cooked caramel. And for the first time, our pecan delight is now inside our assorted box. The next piece that you see in this um, gold cup is our milk chocolate peanut cluster. So this is very, very simple ingredients. We just take our Russell Stover milk chocolate and we load it with unsalted dry roasted peanuts. Now, let's just speed through these because yes. in the interest of time, we you just bet. want to get through all these so we'll show everybody. Yep, the next piece that you're going to get is our milk chocolate caramel that's drizzled with dark chocolate. Again, you can see that artist detail. The next one is our dark chocolate truffle. You'll be able to identify that with that chef-inspired whimsical design on the top. And you can see how velvety smooth the truffles are inside. Next up are our dark chocolate almonds. That's where we're taking crunchy almonds, roasting them to perfection, and then dipping them in dark chocolate. Yeah, I'm going to have to have some. <laughs> I'd have some of that? Absolutely. The next piece that you're going to get is a mm. dark chocolate caramel. This one has nuts inside, so you're going to be greeted with that this delicious is just one box dark you're chocolate. Going through. Yeah, there's nine different varieties in just our assorted box. Unbelievable. And then? Then in this copper cup, this is our cashew cluster. So again, simplicity at its best. Mm. Just take the Russell Stover milk chocolate. Delightful. We fold in dry roasted, unsalted cashews. Second to last, there's still two more pieces, is our toffee. This is where we're taking lots of butter and sugar and then folding in dry roasted I almonds mean, to give a beautiful, and rich coffee. and nutty flavor. Yes, yes, yes absolutely amazing. Yes, and yes. last but definitely not least, this one is our strawberry cream. This is where we're taking real strawberries, we're folding them into our sweet and creamy fondant. This one reminds me of Valentine's Day, which is tomorrow. So Doesn't crazy. that look amazing? Can I tell you, we are super, super busy. Wow. Everybody's grabbing this. Now, in less than a month, 17,300. That means I have 3,500 remaining. When we started this show, I had 5,500 remaining. I now have how many? 
3,300 left. They're going very quickly. You're not getting one box. You're not you're getting, getting two all three. Boxes. You're getting all three. Yes. Now, one is the assorted that Russell just went through. Yep, that's the one. number one box that we make. Correct. And then you get the one box of the pecan delights. The number one piece that we make. Exactly. And then a whole box of chocolate truffles. Please tell me about <laughs> this one. Those are our truffles. Yeah. Are you going to try the milk or the white chocolate? I love the milk. Yes. Milk, white chocolate. Inside our truffle <laughs> box, you're going to get milk chocolate, white chocolate, and dark chocolate truffles. These are absolutely mouth watering. They literally melt on your tongue. You're going to get a whole box of those. Mm. What do you think, David? Mm. Pretty good? <laughs> happy, can I do it with you, David? The happy dance. <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful of chocolate. Isn't that amazing? And that is the sweet white chocolate. Yes, you're getting a whole box of those. Oh, my word. <laughs> I mean, you might expect to go to the store and think that it was a good deal to get one box for $20 and some, and some right. pennies. This is three boxes for $20.47. Yes. 18,000 less than a month, 2,800 remain. These are going very quickly. You're getting all three boxes. These will have a year shelf life. A year, unopened. absolutely. Yes. <coughs> yep. Now's the time to stock up. Think of gifting. Think of, you know, give one, share one, gift one. These make excellent gifts. Russell Stover is dedicated to the joy of gifting. Our new box is more giftable than ever. And inside, you have more of everybody's favorite pieces. This is again that um, kettle cooked caramel that you're seeing. That is what Russell Stover is known for. Mm. That's what makes all of our chocolates it's different from everything deal. else that's out there. I have 2,200 yes. left out oh, of wow. the 5,500 <laughs> we started the show with. We've sold 18,600 since the since this launched. Wow. <coughs> and 2,200 all I have left. Russell, great to have you back. Yes, thank you so much. This David. is so exciting. Now, it, what? Uh, oh, recipe step. All right, headed this way. <coughs> Excuse me. Ben, oh, let me get a little drink of water here. <clears throat> I think I got a little, a little chocolate caught where there it shouldn't be. Mm. Much, much better. Whew. Now we're making flourless chocolate and red wine heart cakes. Oh yeah, you heard me. We put a little red wine up in this, and we baked off these flourless cakes, and then we put them on a cooling rack over a little sheet pan. Because we made a little chocolate ganache, which we covered, or colored rather, with a little red food coloring for Valentine's Day. Now, I want you to put this in a pitcher and then just drizzle it over top, but I don't want you to be shy. And I don't want you to be skimpy with this. I want you to drizzle, I want you to douse, okay? Get over here and then just drench it. That's the word I'm looking for, drench it. Hey, Stacy, drench it. And then while it's still wet, get your little Valentine sprinkles and hit the top. I know, Jane Tracy, I can hear you. We're going to taste this in a little while. You got shoe shopping coming up, don't you? You have shoes and then Susan Graver at midnight. Yes. Janie, you are my forever Valentine. You are my Palantine. Oh, I love you. All right, sweetie. So you'll be around to taste, yes? All right, perfect. Where are we going next? Because I'm all full of thanks. Or I was going to say Thanksgiving. Valentine love. All right. We're going over to KitchenAid. It's a hot pick and a clearance price is going to knock your socks off. I know, right? We're talking about your star products of the day, hot picks, and the ones that you never want to miss out on. If you're looking for an oven that is a convection oven, one that will roast, that'll do pizza, that'll do all those great things, then what you're looking for is a KitchenAid countertop oven. And since Sunday, when we launched this at clearance pricing, it's okay, we're dropping everything <laughs> on the floor, Tina. We've taken orders for how many? 5,000 of these. Wow. Welcome back, Fred. Thank you, Nice Lenny. to see you. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Adore you. This is Tina Varelli. She is our KitchenAid representative now for about three years. Is yes, that right? Yes, that's right. She's also the Pillsbury National Recipe Champion from 2012. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Martha Stewart was a judge, <laughs> not even playing, okay? <laughs> she turned it out. Um, and now she brings us this unbelievable clearance price on this countertop. Okay, let me just break this down for you. If sold separately, this same oven at retail would be over $165. Wow. We are $85.63 less at the clearance price. But wait, there's more, as there usually is in this story. Free shipping and handling. 
We're now over ninety-three dollars less. Oh my now, goodness! Now, Miss Tina, is uh, are, are you? That's not too hot, is no, it? No, it's You're okay? good. You're Because I want to show uh, colors real quickly. And guys, we've got four colors for you to choose from. And these, when they're gone, they're gone for good. We're not going to be reordering this particular oven. Here it is for you in contour silver. This contour silver is ideal if you've got stainless steel appliances in your yeah, kitchen. As long as I can Next to that, I've got it for you in the cobalt blue. Next to that is the cinnamon. Down below, contour silver again. And black is our most limited. And Tina, you're getting both of these pans, right? That's right. Two roasting pans with one grill rack. With one grill rack. Now, here is your feature video, and I'd love for you to narrate for oh, us, Tina. Oh, great. Thank you. Right. So, this is such large capacity because you're going to have two shelves, and you can take one shelf out to fit in extra large items. You're going to get a 60 minute control timer. It's going to broil up to 450 degrees, and that's closed door broiling. It has a large viewing window, so you can watch the progress as it's cooking. It preheats in seven minutes, but I hardly preheat mine because it's so fast. And then you're going to get four modes of cooking. It's going to bake, it's going to broil, it's going to toast, and it's going to keep warm. And look at that, gorgeous. And don't dare call this an oven just a toaster oven, you'll hurt its feelings. That's right. Because it does so much more than that. It's going to bake, it's going to roast, it's going to broil, it's going to convect cook, which means that fan's going to turn on the inside. That's and that means right. this pizza is going to get crispy oh, and delightful, my top and bottom. The crust will always be perfect. The toppings will be all warmed and the cheese bubbly and gooey. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's so great. I love that you're going to get those two <laughs> shelves so I can make two pizzas at one time. I used one of the two roasting racks here to make a delicious deep dish pizza, but it's also going to fit all of your 12 inch frozen pizzas. And these shelves in here are adjustable, they're not fixed into that one position. And it bakes like a dream because it's a convection oven. You're going to get that hot air circulating and you're going to get those beautiful puffy cookies, beautiful cakes and muffins. We had a big pot of chili last night, David. It mm -hmm. was a snow day and I popped my cornbread in there and it just cooked up so beautifully. And you're going to get two roasting pans so I can make these cute Valentine cookies, but I can also make this great big Valentine cookie cake because you're going to get those two roasting pans and they work beautiful because they have a deep lip. You can bake cornbread in them. You can bake cake mixes, brownie you mixes in them. You could do a sheet them. pan supper in there. You totally could do a sheet pan supper. So it's such an easy <coughs> oven to use. It's totally going to earn its place on your countertop and because it's a compact oven, it's not going to take up too much space. Hey, can I tell you also that this is a KitchenAid for 79 bucks. Yeah, you didn't hear me wrong. That's $79 for a convection countertop oven with the extra pan. You're getting a total of two. So, all this coming together for you at a tremendous value, clearance pricing. When they're gone, they're gone. 250 already gone in this presentation. I just need to remind you well, you might be a little distracted as I am about <laughs> the mac and cheese, but I will tell you. This is a KitchenAid for $79. It is. It's amazing. You're Come saving on. more than you're spending. There we go. Let's pop that look up. At oh, that. hello. And just look at the beautiful results you get because of that convection. You get that crispy outside, and when you dig in, it's going to mm. be molten and cheesy. Well, I mean, if you just want me to, I'll dig in. And just look at the quantity of that. That's enough for. I don't know, eight to ten people, depending on your serving size. Or me and one other. That's right. It's so great at holiday time when you want to have, like, say, your turkey or your ham in your big oven. You can use this as your second oven and do all of your side dishes, your appetizers, your desserts in it. It's so handy to have that second oven. Ooh. And if you've never had a convection oven, what a great way to start. <laughs> oh, so good. So perfect. <laughs> wow. And this is a KitchenAid, my friends, for $79. You know, we're going to be headed to Chicago for the International Home and Housewares Show here in a few more weeks. That's right. And I'll tell you, when we get to the KitchenAid booth, it's like a city block long. It it's is. just enormous, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So to be able to get a KitchenAid countertop oven, this is a roasting oven, a baking oven, a convection oven. It's going to sure toast, but it's also going to do all the things that you love, including that great big steamer tray of mac and cheese. That's right. And you're going to do it for $79 tonight.
This is an extraordinary value. 400 of these are gone now. If you were to go to retail, $165 and change, we're $85.63 less with the free shipping over $93 less. That's actually, uh, uh, the cost is less than the savings. Amazing. Isn't that crazy? So crazy. So you're just saving all this big money and you're paying this little tiny price. Can I go through colors again real quickly and Please? then we'll get back to your, your yeah. s'more dip? All right, so I have four colors for you to choose from and they're right here. So I've got cobalt blue, here's your cinnamon, Here's the black, most limited, but I'm going to guess most popular is contour silver. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? Maybe you're like me and you aspire one day to have stainless steel appliances. Nice. This would be a perfect oven to have. How many of you over the Christmas holidays would have benefited from an extra oven? Would it have helped to have an extra oven for rolls, for side dishes? Did Aunt Clara come over with that <clears throat> bean casserole she makes every year? And it needed to be warmed up in the oven. You're like, really? Aunt Clara, you don't need to bring the bean casserole. We have plenty. <laughs> oh, no, Clara's going to bring that bean casserole or know the reason why. And it's going to take up oven space. Now it can go in here, right? $79. Not playing. Okay, so <laughs> this is pretty extraordinary. Don't miss out on this. And you know what? This isn't Brand X, my friends. This is no, KitchenAid. It is KitchenAid. And today starts our 100th birthday celebration, a month long celebration here at QVC. Take a look at the size of this 10 inch cast iron skillet. It's actually too big to fit in sideways, but when I turn this on the diagonal, it fits in there perfectly, like we say, like a clown car. <laughs> so you're gonna close that door. It has beautiful styling on that handle. It's really gonna harken back to your large appliances, and it's so easy to use. There's just four dials. Up here is where you set your function. So bake or broil. You have toast and keep warm. So we're gonna set our s'mores dip to broil. Down here, your temperature goes from broil all the way down to keep warm. So we're gonna fire that up to 450 degrees on broil. This here is your timer knob and it's going to work two different ways. So it's a 60 minute timer. That means you can set it anywhere up to 60 minutes and it's going to tick down and ding when it's done and automatically shut off. So that's gonna help you not burn your cookies. You can also turn it to on, that's a constant on. Let's say you wanted to make a chicken or um, slow cook like a pot roast that's mm -hmm. going to take more than mm -hmm. 60 minutes. Mm -hmm. Then you set it to there, but it's going to automatically shut off after four hours. So I'm going to set our s'mores here to about five minutes. Down here, when you want to toast, is your toasting knob. So you have a light, a medium, and a dark. So it's so simple to use. You already know how to use it. The babysitter can use it. Grandma, when she comes over, can use it because it's so super simple. So here's the story, my friends. It's exactly Exactly 10 o'clock East Coast time. We have one hour left in this show, but here is the offer. If you'll excuse me, Tina, I'm just going to step over here, reminding you that if you went to retail to buy this KitchenAid convection oven, you'd be paying $165.61. Our price tonight, our clearance price, is $85.63 less. Then when you add in the free shipping, we're over $93 less. Okay? What's the cost of this oven? $79 and change. That doesn't happen very often. And when this deal is over, it's gone. Cobalt blue, very popular. Cinnamon, always a favorite. Black is most limited. And most popular is the contour silver. How many in this show? Over 800 are now gone. Yes, you can put this on Easy Pay, all six of them. Wow. And you're getting two of these roasting racks, or pans rather. And one of the grill racks. So all of this comes together for you in this offer. You're getting all of this together and you're getting it for $79 and change. 6,000 now gone since Sunday and 1,000 in this show. What do you have next, my dear? So, bacon. I well. love to cook bacon in the bacon. oven. It's so super simple. And I elevated it up on that grill rack so the bacon drippings drip down. And I find with that convection heat, you really mm. get a great rendering and crispiness from your bacon. And it's fabulous. I like to keep it under 350 degrees. I get mm. that question a lot. Well, you know what? And I will check it. For quality control purposes. Oh, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. so kind of you. That's why I'm here. Um, perfect. Perfect. And perfect. look at the beautiful baking 
and even golden brown that you're going to get. Do you see how the little centers are puffed up per perfectly on those cinnamon rolls? Jimmy the Baker, do you see that? <laughs> do you see how these old cinnamon rolls are perfectly puff puffed in the middle? <laughs> it's do you just... know anything about a cinnamon roll, Jimmy? <laughs> a little bit? I think he does. He's got raspberry and cream rolls coming oh, out. Oh, my goodness. Mm. For spring? Forget Perfect. about it. Look at that. So great. So great on the weekends. We really put this oven to use on the weekends. We're reheating our pizza from Friday night on Saturday. We're cooking our cinnamon rolls, cooking our breakfasts. Shall we check on your s'more dip? Oh, sure. How's he doing in there? Oh, my goodness. Golden brown delicious. Yes. Oh, wow. And look, look at that. At that. It's starting it is to brown up so nicely on the just top. Look at Oh, That's yum. just shy of perfect. Just shy. You can dig in there with a graham cracker. Ooh, a graham cracker. So there's a layer of chocolate chips on the bottom what? and those perfectly toasted marshmallows on top. You could even put some peanut butter in there or some well, peanut butter chips. Yeah, we're and not cave people. No, and it's so quick in this oven. So think about a cold night. Ooh. You're watching a movie. You I want like something that. yummy and sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. So good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is this recipe on your on, on your Facebook page? It is. Tell everyone what your Facebook page is. So Tina Please. Varelli, a V like Victor. Tina Varelli, KitchenAid on QVC. Come and join us. We have lots of fun. I answer all your questions and post all kinds of recipes. And I just wanted to point out that Lucinda Scullaquin's dishes here, oh, yeah? both of them fit perfectly in the oven. Anything really with that oval shape is perfection. So you just slide it in there, corner to corner, and that big, giant capacity fits in there perfectly. So as we get ready to wrap up on this, Tina, join me over here if you yes. would. We're looking at a clearance price of $79.98. We have the cobalt blue. Here is the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Most limited is the black. And contour silver is the most popular. Now, 1300 gone wow. in this presentation. Add that to the 5,000 ordered since Sunday. You're looking at 6300 Miss Tina, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Okay. Uh, oh, we have something new with Mark Charles. Where's Mark Charles? Woo. There he is. Mark Charles, were you hiding back here? I was. Well, we found you. That's Mark good. Charles Massilli, our gadget guru, now for how many years? Uh, April 1st will be 18 years. April 1st, we've decided, will be 18 years. Yeah, we've decided. No, we've, we've it's decided. Just, we just counted the calendar, and that's what it is mm, 18 years. Exactly. <laughs> 18 years. So you have brought us tonight uh -huh. a set of two, wait for it, glass, glass spice grinders. Large. Mm -hmm. Large. And then brand new, brand new shape, grinders. brand new design, but still the beautiful ceramic grinder that you know and love. I smell the pepper. Yep. I'll be sneezing soon. It's, <laughs> it's about having the grinder on top, not at the bottom. It's about having adjustability so you can easily go from coarse to fine. It's about catching all of the crumbs there instead of having it on the bottom on your counter. You can actually directionally put this as almost like a funnel to put it down, or you can actually have it straight down. You twist. And grind, you get to see what you have. You have a large capacity, you have an easy fill. That's how easy that is with no special funnels or anything. This can be used over and over again. It can be washed out and changed, cleaned. All the parts can go into the dishwasher. This is a great spice grinder. This is a set of two. We've got great colors there for you. We do indeed. Now, you get a set of two. We have a set of two in the cinnamon, set of two in the turquoise, most limited. Set of two in the white, and finally a set of two in the black. I'm going to move this turquoise to the end since that's Why the most that? limited. Oh, okay. That's what you're going to do. So if it sells out, then we can easily take it away. Now, these are very easy for you then to open and close, mm -hmm. fill with whatever you're going to put inside. Now, obviously, salt and uh, salt crystals and peppercorns are the obvious. Make it a lot of sense, yep. but there are other, uh, other things really. you can do too. So basically, it's almost any spice as long as it is a dry spice mm -hmm. and a whole spice because when you are actually grinding them, it actually releases all the flavors. So the big thing right now is salt, whether it's black salt, whether it's pink salt, whether it's co co coarse kosher salt, it works that great. Easy for you to do. <laughs> three times over. What I love is when you're done grinding, you pick it up and all the residue stays here instead of on your counter. Think of all the things that a traditional grinder 
has wrong with it. You can't see inside. It's not a large capacity. It's not easy to load. There's a metal grinder which will rust or pit on you. It only really is for pepper and some are specifically made for salt and the salt actually can corrode the stainless in a grinder. But this is a ceramic grinder, an adjustable grinder, a glass grinder, a refillable one and let's talk about the other things we can do. Okay. So we talked about the salts. We have everything from flaxseed. Think of how great. Would you ever put flaxseed in your current grind? Um, your current pepper mill? I think not. So having fresh flaxseed to put on all those protein shakes when you're trying to do that is wonderful to have that at the ready. When you have things like your own blends, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. What I love is you can create your own blends in these. Put some pepper, some rosemary, some uh, red pepper flakes, some oregano in one. These are two different rubs. And why I love about this is when you are seasoning your meats, like this pork chop, either when it's raw or when it's cooked, you're doing something instead of just putting the salt and pepper, you're making your own blend. This could have garlic salt in here, this could have rosemary, and think about the fact that you're now seasoning with something special and something a little bit more than just pepper and salt. Let's remind you that 200 of these are gone now, and let's also remind you of four easy payments on your credit card. Four easy payments on any item on air and online until midnight tonight. I've got this in a set of two black, here's your set of two white. Set of two cinnamon, however, if you want the turquoise. I have fewer than 1,200 left. Black is most popular, turquoise most limited. Don't miss out on this. Remember, this is four payments of $6.13. Some of the things I went down to the spice aisle just to come up with that you can do with this this is mustard seed. We actually have cloves in here. Look at this. See the way the mustard seed and cloves? These are things that, when they are in their whole state, they're trapping a lot of the great essential oils and great flavors that are in there. You need to break them open by crushing them with this great grinder. You've got celery seed. You've got. Um, all the different types of peppercorns. We've got onion flakes, garlic flakes, breaking those up and turning them into powder. One of my favorite things to do this with is red crushed pepper. We put a lot of red crushed pepper on Italian foods, David, or pizza. as is. And pizza, you really should crush it to really open up the oils and get all the flavors that you want mm -hmm. out of this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add some to some of, these, some of the corn on the cob. Great for corn on the cob and things like that. So being able to crush that red pepper flake to give your corn on the cob a little, a little boost. Is really wonderful. Remember when you pick that up, the residue stays here. You can easily clean that out. You see what's left, easy load. It just makes life a lot, a lot easier for something we all have to do, which is just use a pepper mill and a salt mill, and it goes beyond. So I'm going to load this up for you real quick to show you. Okay. You can buy the container from the store. You do not need a special funnel. And look at the size of this container. It's a, it's a large one. And actually just fill it this easy. And you know, when you had a traditional pepper mill, you had to untwist it with a little knob on the top, and you've got that stainless rod. And what I love is just keep filling this up. Again. And look at look at the capacity of this thing. Dude, can I finish the whole thing? Yeah, look at that. I actually can empty that whole container. Put that in the recycle bin. Put that recycle bin, and I'm ready. In this this quick, I'm able to start grinding. Look at that. It's not wonderful. That's perfect. So again, that easy. When it's down, you fill it up again. If you want to change the spice, here's a little hint I just learned about these grinders, which I love. Because there's a ceramic grinder and there's that adjustability to the left, it's coarse, to the right, it is fine. You can actually put salt through the grinder if you want to change your spices, because a lot of times we open up oils when we're crushing that. If you want to change the spices in it, put some kosher salt through the grinder and it. What, what are we doing here? Oh my. Look at that. Wow. MCM. M. There we go. Yay for me. I think my C was wrong. Yeah, it's got a little wompy jaw. Wompa. Ooh, that's wompy a new jaw. That's, that's a new a word. Southern that's, word. I was gonna say that's not wampum biscuit. That's no. wompy joy. Womp, no, wompy jawed. Wompy jawed. Wompy jawed means crooked. J A W jawed. Wompy jawed. Wompy jawed. Now, you know what? A southern for crooked. 18 years with you, and you just taught me something new yeah, again. Gave you a new word. Wompy jawed. Exactly. From the southern. I don't think I could say it right. Wompy jawed. Wompy jawed. Wompy jawed. E D jawed. Jawed. Okay, hey, you know what happens every week on QVC? We have something called the weekly special value. And this is it from Circulon, the Symmetry Four Piece Hard Anodized Weeknight Cookware Set. Comes with that wonderful nonstick baking sheet, your skillet, and also your spatula and serving spoon. All this for four easy payments of $10 each. And let me tell you also, from Green Gobbler, we have the Pure Orange Oil Concentrate. It's a home cleaner and spray bottle. Now, if your oven looks this dirty, we need to have a separate conversation. But what I'm telling you is it will even cut through the worst and yuckiest mess. So we'll tell you more about that, and you can find out more about that on QVC.com. That's V35570. But right now, I would like everyone 
a yucky mess. If you got a yucky mess in your oven, but you know you're not gonna have a yucky mess with this next item. This is a good. You're gonna have a lot of yummy goodness Ooh. with this next item. Jimmy the Baker yeah. is here, the original scratch baker Come on, on QVC. Look at that. And inside, no, this isn't a cinnamon roll. This is even sweeter, more fluffy, more delightful. And you know what's inside instead of a cinnamon filling? It's raspberry. Oh. Man. Raspberry filling. And you know what's on top of this? Not just icing, it's cream cheese icing. Uh huh. So you've got a sweet yeast <laughs> roll, dough. Mm -hmm. And then you've got loads of sweet raspberry filling. And then if that weren't enough, Jimmy the Baker went and added a little heaven to this roll and put some sweet cream cheese on mm. top. Hello. Hello. Jimmy the Baker, how are you? I'm a little tough tired. It's 10 o'clock. Well, I'm don't get tired before you. <laughs> don't peek too soon because we've got we got rolls usually, to talk about. I'm, I'm usually asleep by this time. Well, because, not tonight, not young tonight. man. We're gonna wake them all up with these. These look amazing. Oh, you know what? The funny thing was when suggested to me to do fruit, I thought that person was a little crazy. But I'm telling you, people are loving this. I thought it was quite unorthodox to put fruit in a bun like a cinnamon roll, but clearly no. Um, what you're seeing is my sweet yeast dough, let's call it 2.0. A little bit more egg, a little bit more margarine so the dough is nice and tender. You can see that it's soft. It's a, it's a bit softer than the cinnamon roll. You do not have to microwave it as long. It's going to come to you already baked, of course. All you need Individually to do, packaged. Individually packaged. All you need to do is take it out of its packaging, take it out of its brown tray, which we're going to talk about. Put it on a plate Put and it pop plate it in the microwave and, for how long? I'd say 20 to 30 seconds. And then you give a good schmear. A good schmear, as they say up in New York. Exactly, of and that delightful cream cheese frosting and let it melt down oh. into the warm raspberry Man. roll. And then, because this is baked in a paper cup and paper does not conduct heat, at least very well. Not at all. It's going to allow for every side and corner of this cinnamon roll to taste like the middle of this. Uh, did I say cinnamon? Yes. Raspberry roll. It's okay. It's going to make every corner and side taste like the middle. Ah. And what's in the middle is chock full of that unbelievable cinnamon filling. I did it again. <laughs> Raspberry filling, and then the sweet cream cheese frosting. I'm going to have to find a fork. Go ahead. So okay, they're making me give quantity updates, yeah, and I can't find that. the fork. You can All take right. that. You can All take right. that. I'm sorry. I'm going to so have go to everybody to hold on for one second. So the so the raspberry and the, I love competing flavors. Com raspberry and cream cheese go really well. <laughs> so so I don't know if you like it or not. Just I I know. <laughs> If you don't like it, just just say so. <laughs> happy dance, happy dance! Oh my word, I took an extra big bite. That is crazy. The best raspberry filling, cream cheese frosting. Thank you. Sweet yeast dough. Baked in a cup. Baked in a cup. Mm. If you want twelve of these, I have twenty-two hundred left. If you want twenty-four of these, six hundred left. Now you can do auto delivery. I threw my cart away. What's auto delivery? <laughs> Every 90 days for a year. If you order 12 of these rolls, you get two tubs of this cream cheese frosting. Thank you, sir. There you go. If you order 24, you get four of these tubs of frosting, and you can also freeze the yes, frosting. Yes, you can freeze the frosting, you can freeze the bun. I prefer that you freeze the bun, as you know. And you, by the way, look at the size of these bad boys. Huge. These are way over five ounces. You're going to get more than one serving. This is really for two people. And this bun, by the way, is a bun that we, we cream cheese. We cream cheese before we put it in the microwave. You can put the cream cheese on after or before. I like to do it after. I like the cool cream cheese to seep into the bun. But this is a big bun. This is, you're not going to find something of this size in your cafe. They're just not doing it. When you go into that cafe and spend what you spend, you're going to get about half of what this uh -huh. is, to tell you the truth. Yes, you are. And so, but this is, this, you can, you can freeze them for up to 90 days. Um, take them out of the freezer, <laughs> take them out of the freezer, let them sit for about 15 or 20 minutes before you microwave them, take them out of the wrapper, take them out of the tray. You can microwave them in the tray if you want to, <laughs> if you don't want to. Wow. But I'm loving this dough to tell Jimmy you the Jimmy the baker, a hot cup of coffee or yes. 
an icy cold glass of milk. I think I like the glass of milk. Thing. I'm thinking I the like glass the of milk glass with of this milk too, milk. right? Yeah. Nice cold milk, so cold that it hurts your hand to hold the glass. It's so cold. And you watch it down. Watch that warm raspberry cream cheese roll. I'm going to come over here. There's another one fresh out of the microwave. <laughs> Thank you, my good man. All right. If so, you want the 12, here's one super hot. If you want to pop that with sure, some frosting you on got it. or icing. Um, if you want the 12 piece count, I have 1,800 left. If you want 24 piece count, 500, all I have left. These are going very quickly. You can freeze the rolls for up to three months. Easy. You can freeze the frost, or the icing up to three months three also. Months, same deal. Yeah. It's not going to go bad. And stock up and save. If you decide that you want to go with that 24 piece count and we're much more limited there, you're going to save $14.75. We're four easy payments and auto delivery keeps a good thing coming every 90 days for a year. This is crazy town right here. Thank you. Thank Kidding you. Kidding me? And I got to, you know, again, remember the dough? I talked about the dough, the aged dough. And this is what I have to tell you the truth. This is, I get excited about baking. When I see the dough, the texture of this dough, mm -hmm. how it bakes up nice and even and golden, it's not overbaked, it's not charred on the you know what outside. This is? It's aged dough. That I got to tell this you this. This is Saturday um, morning when you can ease into your morning with your family. You're making a nice breakfast. The kids are for once all piled around their table in the table, mm -hmm. still in their pajamas. Nobody's rushing out the door to work or school. You got perfect coffee, cold milk, and these rolls. And nobody's texting because they're all right. smelling raspberry, right, man? That's and you awesome. know why they're not texting? Because you collected all those cell phones, put them in a basket, put them on top of the fridge so we could have family time. <laughs> You're a good man, sir. Thank you. Same Thank back you. Right at you. Thank you, everybody. Ooh, what was that? I'm sorry, Sean. I was all caught up in the roll. 1,700 left in the 12 piece count and 400 left in the uh, 24 count. Well, both my Palantines are here. Oh, you're our Palantines. My Palantines are here. Every, every single Wednesday night, my Janie is going to be following me. I am. I'm so excited. So if I'm here until 11, you're on at 11. Yep. If I'm here till 10, you're I'm on, on at, at 10. 10. If I'm here all the way till midnight, you'll be on at midnight. I know. I'm so just, whatever the case. It's called follow the leader. <laughs> I just follow him. That's what I do on Wednesday. I learned everything I know from this one. Mm. Hey, I've got oh. flowerless chocolate cake for you. Okay, and like what's in this? I heard that there's all well, kinds of Well, first of all, there's red wine this. baked into the cake. Yeah, wait, wine, yeah. chocolate, and dessert. I'm in! Thank you. <laughs> chocolate ganache on top. And there's chocolate, of course, in the cake. And we drizzled this with not only a red chocolate Spicy. ganache that we colored with some Whoa. red food coloring, but then we did yes. a little white chocolate mm -hmm. drizzle on top. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, I put sprinkles on mine. Mm -hmm. Talk to me. Mm. How's that like, Are you kidding me? Super moist, right? No, it's like, it's so silky. Mm -hmm. Isn't it though? Oh my gosh, it is mm. so good. It's got wine up in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My jam. I know, yeah. that's your jam. My jam. That's your liquid oh, jam. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Hey, oh. while you talk about um, mm -hmm. Susan Graber, I'm going to get ready for our last look at today's special value. Okay. okay. Uh, for today, Don't and then you're going to get ready for the one for tomorrow. Uh, so I am. I'm actually going this way. You're staying here. I'm going to go right yeah, here. Where do you have okay. Well, up? I'm just going to step out oh. because the first spring of Ms. Moose is here with Aaron Psych. Don't you love Ms. Moose? Oh my Moose? gosh, I love this line. They're so cool. Every time it's I'm adorbs. in New York and I'm in Soho, I look at the store and it's like mobbed. So we have the whole <laughs> show, all of course on Easy Pay. And then Susan Graver is throwing a Valentine's Day party on QVC Loves, kicking off at midnight, and this is her today's special Super value. Cute. And Mally, if you're watching, yellow roses for Mally's mom. Aww. So That looks adorable. Cute, Love the right? whole outfit. Thank All right, you. we'll be watching, Jay. Take your cake with you. It's way too good. So Just good. Just leave it sitting here. All right, David, TSV, it is time. Today's special value. Woo, boy, is it ever. I am loving the rolls, the cake, Valentine's is tomorrow, but before we get there, we've got one final look at today's special value. You're looking for something that you can grill and griddle and do it with virtually no smoke? Well, you found it from our friends at Power. It's our very best value of the day, and the final look starts right now. Since launch, we've taken orders for 26,800 and during in the kitchen with David, 6,200 of you have dialed in for power smokeless indoor electric 1500 watt grill that also includes the griddle plate. Now you should know that this particular 
appliance is not only going to allow you to do all that great grilling, but it's going to allow you to do a, a, some great griddling as well. You're going to do this with 80% less smoke compared to an average electric grill. You're getting the unit itself, the grill pan, the cook and look lid, the two cookbooks, and the griddle pan, all of it. For at retail, you'd pay a nearly $130 for it. I'm talking about the power smokeless grill, the grill plate, the griddle plate, the collection pan, the glass lid, and the recipe books. We're $40 less. We're also four easy payments on your credit card of $22.49. So you're looking at something that is extraordinary. You're looking at something that is going to get multi use in your kitchen and earn its place on your countertop. But you know what? You're thinking about grill and griddle and pans, and you're thinking, does all that mean smoke? Actually, it doesn't. Look at this comparison side by side. Now, these are the same 80 20 burgers. We're grilling two of them in a cast iron grill pan, getting a great sear, but we're also filling the room with smoke. The same burgers have been cooking for the same amount of time on today's special value power grill. Let's turn it over. Oh, same grill marks. Same great even cooking, but where's the smoke? Well, there's virtually none. 80% less than a traditional electric grill. This technology is going to grab that smoke, and what little smoke is generated, it's all dispersed away. So that means no matter what the season, no matter what day the calendar says, and no matter how full or empty your propane tank is on your grill, you're now grilling inside with virtually no smoke, and you're doing it with the power and the ease and the accuracy of electricity. Now, if you're someone that owns this grill, we'd love to hear from you. Call us on our testimonial line, and if you're dialing in tonight for it and you're asked to speak on the air, we'd love to say hello. Let's come over and say hello to Eric Thies. He's Mr. Power Everything from QVC. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good to have you back. Hi, everybody. Two things that we worry about with indoor grills. Right. One is smoke. Yes. And two, will we really get the sear we're after on an electric grill? Yeah. Well, let's take a look. So here I did a nice flank steak. Right. One of my favorite things to do in the whole world on the grill. Look at the gorgeous sear marks. Now, it smells amazing. Look at this, guys. You can hear it sizzling, but you can't see the smoke. You can't see the smoke because we have two levels of smoke extraction. We have a smoke extractor, actually, that's sucking the smoke out like a vacuum cleaner. And then on top of that, we have a water tray on the bottom that the fat drips into so it doesn't ignite. Exactly. Let's take a look at some animation. This will help you better understand what's happening once you cook on the grill. So you have 18 inches of cooking space. Now, on top of that, QVC wanted the most powerful one we make, which is 1,500 watts. They got it. You can see the fat drips down into a drip tray that's filled with water. So that stops the smoke right there. But then, on top of that, we have a smoke extractor technology, a smoke vacuum that literally sucks the smoke out. And we can make the claim, and we went to a laboratory for it. It's not like we're making this up. 80% less smoke than a traditional plug-in um, indoor grill. Now, you saw we were going up against a cast iron skillet, but also an indoor grill were 80% less smoke. That's virtually smoke-free. Now, what you've done on top of this grill pan is uh, nothing short of genius. All right, we have grilled uh, or griddled up sausage pieces I know, I love that, that are now golden brown delicious. We also put frozen potato tots on here. And brown those up. I know. Now you're going to take something perfect and make it superior by adding <laughs> cheddar cheese. That's right. And you can see, there, guys, there's no butter, and no oil needed. Because my mother's watching, we're going to add those tomatoes. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot. This is for David's mom. And she's going to be like, honey, why didn't you put the tomatoes on that? Put them That's all right, on. That's right. Put them all on. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. There we go. There sorry, we go. sorry. Sarah's sorry. watching. Sorry, sorry. All right, and <laughs> then we're going to add our beaten eggs. Because not only is this a grill, an amazing grill, but it's also a fantastic, amazing griddle. Now wait, it's a smoke-free griddle. We cover this. I'm gonna pepper those eggs. Ooh, thank you. Boop, 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 boop. Jesse, are you watching? This is how it's supposed to work in the kitchen. You're supposed to help each other out. Your wife, Jesse, is that who you're talking? <laughs> yes. About? All right. Now <laughs> we're gonna cover this up, and the reason we're gonna put the lid on there is why, Eric. Well, now what we want to do is we want to uh, get the eggs to set up. The interesting thing about the lid. And the cheese to melt. That's right, we want the cheese to melt. But the interesting thing about the lid, it works with everything. You can even sear with the lid on because the smoke extractor is pulling out all the steam. You don't ever want to put a lid on if you want to sear, but you can on the power smokeless grill. So you're cooking faster and you get a sear with the lid on, 
which you normally can't do. And these eggs are cooking beautifully, and yeah. I'm not going to worry about anything sticking because of that ceramic no non stick griddle plate. This is an extraordinary machine that is going to do so much more than just grilling in your house. But let's talk about grilling because you're going to go out and you're going to pay good money for steak. You're going to go to your butcher, or you're going to go to your grocery. Or you're going to go to your freezer and get your Rostelli steaks out, right? That's of course. And then you're going to pop them on this grill, and you're going to wonder, am I going to get a good sear? Am I going to get nice grill marks? Oh, well, hello. We're going to, that's a nice shot. Let's come right back up to that 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 shot and preview, guys. Oh, there it is. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Hello. Oh, you can see. Hello, oh, old friend. Oh, look at that. Look at the juice dripping. Hello, out old of that. friend. Yep. Now we're going to we're going to try to get back to these. Try to get a medium rare. That's how I like them. I think you like them that way too. I like mine medium well. Oh, medium well, well no just a problem. Just of pink. All right, so so I hit them perfect last yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, they were great last time. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the lid back on, and we're going to let them finish. Now I have total control over the power. I can go up to 450 degrees. I can go down to 220 degrees. So when my steaks are done, I can hold them at warm. Hey, look at this. It's already starting. Oh. Oh no, it's perfect. Look here at we this. Go. You guys come in here tight if we can. I want you to see what's happening here. Look at these eggs pulling away from this griddle pan. Look at that. <laughs> Is there anything sticking there? No. Anything breaking there? Just my heart if I don't get to eat this soon. <laughs> oh no, it looks so good. Come on. And then you got an egg bake or a griddle or an egg, a griddle bake. Look at this. Isn't that crazy? You cut that into slices. Serve it with toast. Yeah, you could fe easily feed eight or ten people with that. Oh my gosh. Right? This is this is this is brunch. Look how pretty that is, and look how it's moving around. I, I hate to turn it over because it'll it'll make it ugly. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I don't want to turn it over like a pancake. But look at this. Look how it's sliding around. That's nonstick. That's even cooking. That's beautiful. It does look pretty. Maybe we'll just leave it like that. You know what? I could actually lift it up and just slide it onto the plate. Well, you could do that as well. Put it on a platter. Yes. And it'd be great for yes. that. Hey, let's let everyone know that we are just uh, a few seconds shy of. 10:30 East Coast time. Turn this is your last look of the day at today's special value. Some of you have just finished watching the 10 o'clock news on the East Coast, <laughs> and you're just tuning in to see what that tall fellow on QVC is talking about. <laughs> what we're talking about—that's me. Today's special value. That's Eric. Oh. What we're talking about is today's special value, and what we're talking about is the power smokeless indoor electric grill. Now, this same grill pack up that is offered at the TV offer that Eric uh, is appearing in on television is 1,200 watts. Correct. Ours is 1500 watts. Yes. Theirs is about $130, I believe, at retail. We're looking at, well, at re traditional retail is $130. Right. We're looking at about $40 less. So we're giving you more power for less money, and we're giving you the extra griddle pan, 40 recipes, and the cook and look lid. All of this for the best price available. Go to retail, you're going to pay seven pennies shy. Of 130 bucks. We're $40 less. Four easy payments on your credit card, and now over 27,000 since launch. That means 6,500 in this show alone, in this show alone, and over half our quantity for the whole day now is gone. So this is your opportunity to pick up a machine that is going to truly make a difference in your kitchen. Let's take a look at cooking the same burgers two different ways. Talk to us about this. Yeah, so what we did is we took a cast iron grill pan. And we put it on an induction burner and set that at 450 degrees. You could see the smokes going crazy because that's how it is. That's the way it is. You can't stop it. There's no way to stop it. Now, after I flip the burgers on the grill pan, we pan out. As we pan out, you'll see the power smokeless grill. Where's the smoke? But look at look at the marks. They're the same marks. It's still there. The only thing missing is all that smoke, and your clothes don't smell like dinner. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I'm looking at one of our prep chefs who who works over a stove all day long. I'm sure she has to go home and take a shower before she can climb in her clean bed. Because <laughs> if she doesn't, then her bed her, her bed's gonna smell like everything she cooked today. Which Same is a lot. Is, <laughs> a uh, lot of and bless her heart. She's a she's a hard worker. So this is what's amazing. You know, I often say when people run into me if I stop at the grocery store on, on, after a show like on a Sunday, people say, "What were you cooking today?" I said, "Well, just take a deep breath. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell it all. It's all over me." This is great because now your home doesn't smell like burgers. If you're frying fish and someone yeah. comes to visit two days later and they're like, "Oh, did you have fish for tonight?" <laughs> yeah. You're like, two days ago, two days ago." <laughs> um, yeah, There's you don't want to do stink up the house, right? What you want to do is be able to enjoy the meal when you're enjoying it, and then have it be done. This is right. what it's all about. Yeah. So we get rid of the smoke. We practically get rid of the cleanup. But you get the amazing results, and you get it indoors for a change. You can grill indoors 
365 days a year. Sleet, new? hail, snow, it doesn't matter. All right, these are uh, chicken, chicken quarters. Look at this. Do you guys, this looks just like we literally threw it on our propane grill or our charcoal grill outside. We have uh, skin on chicken here. I love the extra char. Now what you're seeing there is we put a little rub that's got a little brown sugar in it. And that gives you an extra layer of just that crunchy wonderfulness. You know what I was thinking you could also do? What? Barbecued chicken on here. Oh, there's no question because the grill plate is nonstick. So, so even if you burn on some barbecue sauce, yeah. because you're going to cook the chicken thoroughly first. And then in probably the last five minutes, right. you're going to brush on that barbecue sauce and let it caramelize, right? And some of it's going to run off onto the grill pan. And if you were doing it on your barbecue at home, you'd have to get out a steel brush the next day and try exactly. to scrape all that off, right? What, look what's happening here. It just turns out the most beautiful food. And what's left behind? Oh, sure, you can put it in the sink and get a scrub daddy after it and become clean in seconds. Yeah. Or throw it in the dishwasher and clean it the way God intended. <laughs> Let the dishwasher do the work. As I say, life is short, buy a dishwasher. That's so, this is what it's all about. Don't miss out on this opportunity. <laughs> what we're talking about is for the day. 27,500 of these are gone. That's well over half our quantity. In this show alone, 6,900. We're a breath away from 7,000 ordered during In the Kitchen with David. Lots and lots of you are saying, you know what? I see this on the television offer. They're asking more money for a machine that's less powerful. We're going to charge you less money for a machine that's more powerful. This is 1,500 watts of power. Right. And I'm going to guess that that is the big reason why we're getting those perfect grill marks. No question. Beautiful, even cooking and browning. Faster. And it's cooking faster. Plus, when you clap this lid onto the top, you're trapping even more heat down inside. Here's more good news for all of you at home because I know this is a big issue for lots and lots of folks. When it's all said and done and you're finished cooking and ready to put it away after it's all clean and dry, how do we store it all away? It all stacks right. inside. Isn't that nice? So now the lid goes on and both my pans are inside. Where's the power cord go? Well, right there. <laughs> because it's detachable. So you can take the power cord off, put a little, uh, little twist tie around it, and this is what you're storing away. That's all. End of story. And, and what's our value? Oh, go ahead. Let's take a real quick look at this. If you were to go to retail to buy this same value, same pack up, you'd be paying $129.93. We're about $40 less. We're four easy payments on your credit card, and that's delivered straight to your door. Remember the one on television is being offered? That's a 1200 watt machine. Ours is 1500 watts. We're more powerful, less money, and it all comes together for a really fantastic price. You think you can get that on here? Uh, you know, it's a challenge. Have we a bigger spatula? You know what I'm going to do? I am going to. Hold on. Stay Don't with get crazy. me. Crazy. Stay with me. I'm doing it. Oh, you're going in for the O. Oh, I'm going in. You're going in. All right. All right. Oops. Careful there, sunshine. No, I'm doing it. Okay. Here we go. Not even. Oh, <laughs> oh that's what he's doing. <laughs> you know what? Look at this. The cleanup is an absolute <laughs> joke. Look at that. <laughs> Jennifer, my food stylist. All right, Charlie. guys. You know, I, I'm actually known for doing stuff like that. So. I, I, I think they call me Hurricane behind my back. I, um, I heard that. Well, there is. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, it's still good. The counter's clean. Hang on. <laughs> Coming around. <laughs> Pardon my back. You know, this is what happens after 30 hours of being here. <laughs> All right. There it is. There we go. What did Julia Child <laughs> say on her cooking show? <laughs> Never be afraid to cook. Oh, always, always cook alone because no one can see when you mess up. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. So, but, uh, but look, we bur I actually burned it, right? Which is which is great. Look how gorgeous that looked. It's all brown. And then you come in here, and then I'm gonna do the cleanup because I I think I think need you to. Better. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it up, <laughs> and you can see it's clean as a whistle, guys. I mean that that's the amazing. And now we're ready on there. for oh I don't know pancakes maybe <laughs> I don't or know. some other kind of deliciousness. <laughs> you know what, Eric? It's okay. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> it still looks good. You've Actually, salvaged it. Actually, that looks better. My, my dirty you. dish rack. I don't want to put that on there. All right. So All right. what we're talking about <laughs> is a fantastic. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on past that. 
This is a fantastic opportunity for you to pick up a grill that's going to do so much more than just grill your foods. You're going to have that great griddle in there. You're going to be able to do those great breakfast frittatas like we were just showing you, a little crispy and wayward, but nonetheless delicious. This is K48367. Top that off with some delightful blue cheese. Oh, this is a compound butter. Or a compound butter. Yeah. Maybe but you put blue, some blue cheese in the compound I got, butter. I got news for you. Blue cheese, I almost don't, I almost can't eat steak without blue cheese. So well, let's it seems see. Like let, a, it seems like it should be a rule. All right, so we got this just about medium. David, that's almost there for you. Maybe another minute, right? You know what? Actually, that would be perfect for me. Oh, okay, I like great. mine just like that. That's perfect. So you guys, look at the char on the top. Oh, look at the butter dripping down over the steak. Thank you. Uh, I love it. Okay, but the Thank char you. and the grill, and the, it's just absolutely beautiful while this butter melts. These are the kind of results that you're going to get at home. Now, you can drop it over the counter, too, like I do, Wait. and it'll still taste good. Oh, guys, good. go back in with that shot again. Ray, you were right, you were right on it. My director, oh. Ray, just pushed in for that shot right there. Oh. I just want you to just take that in for a moment. <laughs> I want you just to imagine that that's on your dinner plate. And then in a moment, you're going to reach down to get that big piece, and you're, gonna, you're just going to have dinner. Hello. Hello, old friend. <laughs> We've missed you. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's go to our phone lines. Let's welcome Bernadette calling in Indiana. Bernadette, good evening. How are you? Hi, David. Nice to have you here. Eric and I would love to know, what do you think of this dynamic machine from Power? Well, I'm really excited to get it. It's a uh, grill in my home because I live in Indiana and we can't grill out in the wintertime. Mm. I really enjoy watching your show. I just love it. Thank you. Well, you know what? We were just talking earlier tonight. I don't know if you heard. We were talking with another customer from Indiana, and she was saying that they've had so much snow, she commutes long distances in that bad weather. So when she gets home, she wants a great meal but wants it fast. She wants to not worry about how much propane is outside in the tank. So even this summer, Bernadette, when you've got time to be outside grilling, you never have to worry about the weather or propane or enough charcoal for the grill. Just head inside and grill what you love, and cleanup will be a breeze. Yes, exactly. Oh, that's great. What do you think you're going to grill first? Um, maybe steak. You yeah. can't go wrong with the steak. You saw how beautiful those New York strips looked. Oh, with that, with that compound butter on there, Bernadette? Ooh, they were going back in. Ooh. Yeah. Look at that herb compound butter. Look at that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's like it's calling our name, Bernadette. <laughs> What's up with that? So this is fantastic. Bernadette, we're so glad that you're trying this. I know you're going to love it when you get it home. And cleanup will be a breeze because those plates will go right into the dishwasher if you need them to, okay? Okay, great. Thank you. That sounds perfect. You saw how good the cleanup was. You can actually slide the eggs right off on the counter, and the griddle pan stays mm -hmm. clean as a whistle. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, it does. He's, he's a handful, Bernadette. Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's all right, though. Hey, you stay tuned tonight, Bernadette. We're going to show you a bit more. We've got 20 minutes left in the hour, okay? Nice to meet you. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks, love. love Take love, good love care. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> so if you're just dialing in tonight or you're just tuning in tonight, I want you to know you're looking at the Power Smokeless Indoor Electric Grill and Griddle. What's exciting about this item is that when you're using this, particularly as a grill, you're going to have 80% less smoke compared to a traditional electric grill. So you're going to find there's a water pan in the bottom. So any grease that's rendered off goes into the water, not onto the heating element. And any smoke that is generated, it is then sucked away by an internal fan technology that will take that smoke away, creating 80% less smoke than a traditional electric grill. So no matter what the season, the weather outside, or the level of propane in your gas grill, you're now going to be able to grill anytime you need because you're grilling with the accuracy and cleanliness and ease of electricity. And cleanup, as we say at the end of it, is all a breeze because every single piece of this machine, except for the heating element, goes into the dishwasher if you need it to. So what you're going to get is the cook and look lid, your griddle pan, Thank you, Eric. And your grill pan down below. When you're finished using all this and you've cleaned it all up, you'll pop the two grill pan, griddle pans inside. Here's your detachable power cord. Pop that right there. And then put the lid on. Where are you going to store this? Anywhere you need to. Or maybe you'll just leave it out on the countertop. I hope. Now, you know what? Studies show that appliances you leave on the countertop you use more often. That's not a hard right. logic to follow, right? If it's out there in your line of sight, you're going to be more inclined to use it. And why not, right? 
So go ahead and take advantage of this, get the great price, enjoy the easy pay. And if you're wondering what kind of value we're talking about, buckle up because here it comes. If you were to go to retail to buy the power smokeless grill, the grill plate, the griddle plate, the collection pan which holds the water, right. the glass lid, and the two recipe books, you're looking at almost $130. We're seven pennies shy of $130. Bucks. We're about $40 less. You're also going to love that we've got this on four easy payments on your credit card. So all of it comes together for you as our best price available. If you're wondering how much difference that smoke technology makes, well, feast your eyes. These burgers are identical. They're both 80-20. And you're going to see two of them cooked in a cast iron grill pan at 450 degrees of heat. Now look at that. You're getting a gorgeous sear, beautiful grill marks. And you're also getting a room full of smoke. Same burgers, but let's see how they're doing on the. Oh, look at those grill marks. Oh, look at that even cooking. <laughs> Did we lose anything? Yeah, we lost one thing smoke. This is 80% less smoke, but we're still getting the same grill marks, the great same sear. In fact, it's probably cooking faster because once you clap that lid on, you're trapping all that heat inside. How much heat's being lost out of the top of that cast iron? Yeah, that's why we give you the lid. So, Stacy, come in here. I know you probably have questions. There's no French fries here. Let me tell you real quickly, right before you ask that question, I'll yeah. tell you that since launch, 28,200, and in this show, 7,600, and well over half gone for the day. What do you have in questions from the chat? Okay, so one of the biggest questions is um, if you can show uh, where the water goes and how do you how do you get it out? How you would change it out? Oh, it's so, easy. Okay. okay. Yeah, awesome. I love when you right say now. Oh, awesome, do that. It's and easy. then also mention what which parts you can throw in the dishwasher. Okay. Okay. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. The lid that David has, dishwasher. Dishwasher. Can you hold okay. that? Yep. All right. So now we're gonna take this out. This when it's cool, you just wipe it down. This is not dishwasher. This is electric. You Everything don't want to put else that. is right. dishwasher. Okay. okay. This is the protector plate, dishwasher. Here's the drip tray. Fill it halfway up with water. That's it. Drop it down. Put the protector plate down. We even put arrows there to show and you, you know which what's way gonna to happen? go. The oil or the render fat's going to make its way into here and fall right down into the water. That's right. So it doesn't ignite and smoke. Right. Then we're going to put the heating element in. Okay. Grill or griddle, you pick. It just drops in like that. And then you clap your lid on and you're ready to roll. When you've got both of them clean, Stacey, pop mm -hmm. that one back on. Sure. And then I'm going to throw in my power cord because it detaches. Mm -hmm. And that's what you store. Awesome. Thank you so These much. These are good that questions. Was, that was really Did easy. Did we get them all? I, and I can't believe how easy it is to take the drip tray, drip tray out. That drip tray out, and that yeah. goes in the dishwasher too. And you know what's nice? The, it goes in the, the fat goes in the water, yeah. so it's not like you have to scrub it. I know. It just pours out. You Perfect. basically rinse it out. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Use a little dish soap in there, you know, like the name of the, the, uh, our favorite girl. Mm hmm. Put a little dish soap in there. Starts okay. with a D, ends with an N. You know what I'm talking about? Blue. Oh. <laughs> She's sometimes blue, sometimes green. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, I, it took me a while to get that. I just got it. Okay. Ooh. I know you've been up for a long time. You also dumped eggs all over the counter. Um, <laughs> hey, can I tell oh, no. you that uh, these are going very quickly? In fact, over half the quantity for the day is gone. Eric wrote 40 <laughs> recipes to get you started. And yeah, he knows you love photos. So <laughs> he I filled do. it full of great photos here. And you're going to love the great recipes. You're going to love all the great ideas to get you started. But let's just say that anything you cook on a grill or a griddle, you now cook here. I think about Saturdays growing up, Eric, because that was the one day of the week that we actually had time as a family to have a real breakfast. Oh, yeah? Mom made grits, the kind you stood at the stove and stirred for a half an hour. Nice. She'd make um, eggs in her cast iron skillet. She'd do all these breakfast meats. It was the bacon that drew us out of bed. We could smell it, right? <laughs> and so Saturday was the one morning we could sit around the breakfast table in our pajamas and have breakfast as a family and really laugh and have a great time together because Monday through Friday we were all getting Ready for work and school. Sundays were always reserved for church. Right. So Saturday was our breakfast time at home. This could become your breakfast center. But then at lunch, it becomes cheeseburgers and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. For dinner, it's pork chops and strip steaks. This is your around the clock kitchen machine. It does everything. That's why we're hoping you'll never put it away. And like David said, if you never put it away, you're going to use it all the time. And take a look at the animation because this helps you better understand why it becomes virtually smokeless. So inside we have a 1500 watt power source upgraded for QVC. Then we have an aluminum, a very heavy aluminum grill plate. 
that aluminum grill plate drips the fat onto that water tray we just showed you, stopping some of the smoke, a lot of the smoke, but that wasn't enough for us. So we put in a smoke extractor. That smoke extractor, literally like a vacuum, sucks the rest of the smoke out, letting us make the claim 80% less smoke than a traditional indoor grill. A lot of people are asking, how do I operate the temperature control? And it's Great. super easy because there are two buttons. That's it. So I'll turn it off so you guys can see from the start. I'm going to turn the fan off too. Turn it on. We have little buttons right here, these little carrots. That's going to get this LED light to turn blue. As it turn, turns blue, it shows you what temperature you're at. If the LED light blinks, that means you're not up to temperature yet. See, I'm not quite at 450 yet. So what it's doing is preheating. Exactly. When, when it gets stops, to temperature, what will happen? It'll stop blinking. There you go. <laughs> and you're ready to go. And it goes solid. If you want to turn on that fan for extra smoke free, just hit the fan. And you actually, you almost, could you see it under the lid? We sucked it out under the lid. Let's do that again. Let's see if we can get it to happen. It's a good call. We'll let, let it collect again. Yeah, so you'll, you'll see. I hope you can see it with these bright lights, but it's actually starting to smoke up inside the lid. Once we turn the fan back on, because you can turn the fan on okay, and it's off. Nice, and nice and it's starting to. I'm going to turn the fan on. Now, we could see it so much better here than you guys can, but there's, there's no smoke. Well, you've got these beautiful heirloom tomatoes, and now you have these cheesy cheeseburgers. Yes. Now, I so, don't know how many of you love a cheeseburger, but all I'm going to say is, which way do I steer? Okay? <laughs> because, come on. And I don't know who invented the split top hot dog roll, but these are heaven. When I was in high school, I worked at a drugstore. And they had a, a, a little diner in the drugstore. And they would take these flat on the side rolls and we'd dunk, we'd roll them on this butter roller. And then we'd put them on the griddle and we'd get them nice and toasty brown and buttery. Oh. And they would, they'd get, they'd get steamed. And then we'd put a hot dog inside <laughs> and top it with chili and cheese and, oh. Dude, I literally teared up. I, I literally. Right? I literally teared up. Because we had this machine <laughs> that had like, it, it was like a box. It had melted butter in it, and that had this big roller that sat in there. And the roller, when it would spin, would pick up the butter. So we would take uh, the rolls uh -huh. when we worked the grill, and we'd just roll them over the roller. And then we'd throw them on the hot griddle, hello, toast them, and then put your hot dogs you on. You know what, next time I do that, next time I, I present this, I'm, I'm going to do something very similar to that. And I, I promise you I will. You know what? It was the Eckerd Drug Store on Independence Boulevard in Charlotte, <laughs> is it North still Carolina. Because I'm going right now. It's gone. Oh, it's I'm gone. sorry. I'm sorry. That's but it was it's in a great the, it was in the and all my friends in Charlotte remember this. It was the Coliseum Shopping Center. And if you remember this, go to my Facebook page and tell me you remember. It was the Coliseum Shopping Center on Independence Boulevard. It is no longer there. But I worked there part time in high school, and sometimes filled in behind the counter at the at the at the little um, uh, lunch counter. Fantastic. It's a good memory. Oh, vivid memory. <laughs> All right, how many for the day? 28,600 in this show. 8,000 are now oh. gone. Let's go back to the phones. Jacob in Mississippi is calling. Hi, Jacob. Hey, David. How are you today? I'm doing all right. Just well, sitting here with uh, my mom with our tradition of watching you every uh, Wednesday and Sunday. Well, well, you appreciate that. That's nice. What's your mom's first name? Kimberly. Kimberly. Well, a big hello and a foodie salute to, to Kimberly as well. So, are you two picking up the grill griddle tonight? Yes, we are. Wonderful. What did you see that impressed you? That uh, we don't have to uh, have smoke inside the house when <laughs> we have to grill because of rain out here. Yep, rain or or maybe a uh, a lack of propane or you can't you, you didn't get to the store to get a bag of charcoal. Now you never have to worry about having, you know, some reason why you can't grill. You've always got grilling and you're not going to fill your house and set off all the smoke detectors. Yes, that's true. That's perfect. What's your favorite thing to grill there, Jacob? Um, it's between ribs and pulled pork and uh, chicken. <laughs> You know what? I and I haven't had it in a long time. I love good barbecue chicken on the grill, but it can be such a bear to do it Check on a regular grill. Check out our chicken grill. over here, guys. I know because what happens on a regular grill is it gets so messy and nasty, and you need a hammer and chisel to clean it the next day. <laughs> this is all going to go yeah. quickly into the sink, some soapy water, or take those grill plates, put it right in the dishwasher, and let the dishwasher handle it. Yes, that's also the reason why I wanted it. It's easy to clean. 
Well, wonderful. Well, I hope you and Kimberly enjoy all the great food. We're going to get it out to you two right away. And what a pleasure to meet you tonight. Thank you, David. We've, uh, I've been trying to get a hold of you for a while. Well, you know what? We're so glad that you're watching and even more glad we had a chance to say hello on the air tonight. Now, you've got a few other few million foodie friends who know <laughs> your voice as well. Yes. That sounds great. Well, be sure and have a good night and enjoy uh, the rest of the show. And we'll be back with you on Sunday with more goodies, okay? All right, we'll do. Sounds Thank great. Thank you again, David. Thank Thanks, you, buddy. Jacob. Bye bye. Take care. And to Kimberly, too. Bye bye. 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 You all be well. So, this is all fantastic. Don't miss out on this. We're about seven minutes left in the hour. Oh, boy. That brings us down to the final seven minutes of the final presentation of the day. Now, you've got some other breakfast goodies down here. I know I you've do. got uh, French I have toast. French toast. We can make. Uh, pancakes, we could, wh wh you pick. Let's do French toast because right. it's already already kind it's of already uh, starting to grill up. Okay. Or griddle up. All right. So look at the capacity, guys. This is Texas toast. And we know everything's bigger in Texas, right? Mm. Even their toast. And uh, again, the griddle is, you're going to buy it for the grill. You're going to love it for the griddle. Trust me, everybody that gets this home, they say, you know, I really bought it because it was a smokeless grill. And then I started using that griddle. And I just can't stop using the griddle. So look how look at this tower of French toast that you can make. Now you don't have to make a tower of French toast, but if you need to make a tower of French toast, you know you have the size, the capacity, and the ability to make it delicious every single time. No cleanup. And just remember, the griddle is smokeless too. It's not just a smokeless grill. Exactly, because you know what? You're going to have in things. What if you had butter in there that was sizzling on that griddle top? You know, that you're going to put your salmon in. <laughs> maybe you're going to toast those hot dog no, rolls. I know, you got me on those hot dog rolls. Mm -hmm. And maybe that's going to create a little smoke situation in there. Not to worry, because that fan's going to kick in. You've got a fan button right on the front of this machine. You hit it. Oh, your uh, French <laughs> toast went the way of the eggs. It, now it's the leaning tower of toast. Well, it's now the fallen tower of toast. <laughs> but it still looks good. Well, no, you're right about that. <laughs> here's, how, here's how you make that look better. Bang, 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 bang. All right, perfect. I love it. Nothing's oh, you... wrong that you can't sprinkle a little sugar on That's make right. better. Uh, this is K48367. <laughs> Don't miss out on this opportunity. We're now getting into the final clubhouse turn of the hour and of the day on today's special value. Remember, Jane is coming up next. She's got great shoes. She's wearing great shoes. She is wearing great shoes. 29,000 ordered for the day now and 8,400 just during in the kitchen with David. Perfect grilled heads of romaine lettuce, shrimp kebabs, and then put a little fresh, delightful dressing over top. Yeah, this is just a light lemon dressing. Very simple. Lemon and olive oil? Yeah, that's it. And a little herb. And that's all you need to make a great, delicious, healthy that's salad. Pretty. And man, that's that's my summer lunch right there. It seems wait, like wait, we're wait, 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 wait. Ooh. incoming. Yes. How about a little Parmesan cheese? You know what? Just a little. You've met me, right? You know, well, I, I have like a, a cheese problem. You have a little bit of a cheese issue. A little issue. bit of a cheese issue. I like that about you. <laughs> um, all right, so <clears throat> let's talk pizzas. I'm sorry. That's okay. Here we go. Let's all talk right. pizzas. So we actually turned this off, but this is how you make the pizza. You get the pizza dough, whether it's fresh, frozen, whether it's the wampum kind of yeah, biscuits. Yeah, in the, in the tube where you peel the paper off and right. pump it on the countertop. As soon as you kind of lift it up and peek, you see uh, some, some grill marks, you flip it over. It's going to work great every single time. Trust me, guys. Then you can put your favorite toppings on. We could do uh, pesto and tomato and mozzarella. Um, you get to pick. We just spread it out, whatever you like. And then we're going to put the lid on, and we will actually melt this. So you're going to get a crispy, crusty pizza. And then we're going to top it and melt it because we have that great lid that's going to work for you every single time. Ooh, got room for one more piece of cheese. And this is the good mozzarella, too. This is the fresh mozzarella. Oh, oh. I like it like that. Oh. And then these great big, big league tomatoes we had earlier from Roberta's. Oh, is that where they're from? I think so. Well, that looks good. And, and if not, they're a close facsimile. Just put a little herb on oh, there. Oh, that's right. Now I'm talking. And some black pepper. Do you have any black pepper? Uh, I'm sure I do. Somewhere close. You know what? After 30 hours, I lost it. You know what? It may, <laughs> have, may have gone the way of the wind. I, I think it did. It right. went the way of my omelet. <laughs> All right, so I think here you can pop that lid up here because oh, we're gonna need him yeah, on there to melt that. the cheese, right? We'll melt the cheese there, 
Then we have, uh, you know, I call this sort of like the Valentine's Day dinner. We have the filet and we have the beautiful lobsters. And look at the grill marks that we're getting on the steak. You can char it as hard as you want or you can cook it as slow as you want. It doesn't really matter. You have total control right here. Here's our control module. You see that little, uh, pretty little LED light? That's going to uh, keep it warm or it's going to sear it. Again, no matter what you do, you can turn the fan on or turn the fan off. So we're cooking with amazing power, with practically no smoke, with practically no cleanup. You can grill, you can griddle, you can grill indoors 365 days a year in any weather. If it's too hot and it's mosquito-y or it's freezing cold and sleeting like it was yesterday, which was- Mosquito-y? Is that a word? Maybe. <laughs> hey, let's talk about um, a little comparison here with some grilling. We've okay. got a little uh, table to show you, and I want you to talk to us about this because same burgers, same temperature. Right. Check it out. Yeah, so we used the cast iron skillet. We set it at 450 degrees. We set the power smokeless grill at 450 degrees. Look at the cast iron skillet or the indoor grill. That's the, you're going to get that in your house. There's no way to stop it, guys. If you have fat and heat, it's going to happen. But we figured out a way around it. We have two levels of smoke extraction technology. That's going to lift out, literally vacuum out, up to 80% of the smoke. So you guys, you get the outdoor results with actually almost no smoke. All right, so we are 52 seconds left in the show. We're going to put the rose in between the two thorns. Oh, oh yeah. All right. <laughs> so here is the story, Glory, as I like to say. If you go to retail to buy this same pack up, you're looking at about $130 worth $40 less. Nice. So if you compare us to the TV offer, we're actually giving you a more powerful grill for less money. That's right. And we're doing it all for four easy payments on your credit card of just $22.49 for the day now. 29,400, and in this show, 8,800 oh. of these are gone. I want to invite all of you to stay on the line. You do not dare have to hang up because you've got, uh, you've got plenty of time to still dial in and make sure you get yours. Eric, great job today. Thank you. Get home, get some rest. Thank you. Sorry, I smell like a hamburger. It's okay. That's well, you right, smell a whole lot less. Because it was a lot of smoke around That's here. True. That's right. You can go home and not have to shower. Let's welcome the 309 <laughs> brand new customers. Hi, everybody. Hey. Who shop with QVC for the very first time during In the Kitchen with David tonight. So a big foodie salute to all of you. This Sunday show is a big four hour show coming your way, and I'm making chocolate banana peanut cream pie. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I bet you wish you were going to be. Some here. baking shortcut is what that is. I'm not sure if I'm not. And I also want to remind you <laughs> I that know. I will be back tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, for Down Home with David. Okay. So we've got some really cool items. I saw the whole lineup tonight, and we are earlier today, and we've got some great items in store right. for two of you tomorrow night. And Saturday? And then Saturday, uh, I'll be on the Today Show. Yeah, you will. Saturday oh, morning, no Today Show, 8 30. Between 8.30 and 9, I'll be on doing two recipe demos from my cookbook. And a happy Valentine's Day 